Yo. Yep. Dude, why are all my fucking, why are all my shirts necks so wrung? Are you, uh, you put the hanger in from like the top and stretch it out? That could do it. You have no idea. You think, you think I'm inserting them hangers? I'm not. I'm not inserting them hangers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. I'm making them at night. I'm making them at night, Dad. Welcome into the watch party, folks. It is day two, week five. Second to last day of the second split. How are we feeling about the length of the split? Let's hurry it up to tomorrow and then give me Optic New York and then send me to Miami. We do have some some pretty important matches. Like today, Rocker versus Heretics is pretty big for the, the, the winner's bracket and loser's bracket. First match could be decent if Royal Ravens show up against Vegas. So today's matches could be decent. I think the last match is today's biggest test for Thieves to really see where they're at versus Ultra. Ultra have a couple losses recently, granted to FaZe and Optic. I want to see I want to see the type of team Thieves is because um, they beat Vegas, so they they're five six. So I'm curious. Yeah, well, let's not skip ahead too much, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Carolina taking on the Vegas Legion <clears throat> in our first match of the day. Thank you, Riley. Today's actually pretty important. Again, I know that the matchups aren't super crazy. They're not like they're not gonna they're not jumping off the the, the sheet. You know, they're not jumping off the page at us. There's but, nothing that got us out of bed like, oh yeah, come on. Yeah, it's not like we're not getting a, a phase Toronto, Optic Toronto type match, but we do have a lot of winners Good bracket point. scenarios. So listen up real quick while I go through them. We've got Breach, win and in only. So the Breach control their destiny. They don't play till tomorrow. Good Carolina, play. win and in. And they can also lose, but then Seattle would have to win. Miami, win slash Carolina or a Boston loss. So Miami can s still make it. I, they've only got one win, but a win plus a Carolina or Boston loss, they're going to be rooting on downfalls today. Rocker, win plus a Vegas win or make it based on map count if Carolina and Seattle win. So Rocker got got they also can get in and then Seattle only make it based on map count. Seattle's not making it in. I don't think Seattle's I'm making, making it in. I'm making them at night, Dad. Seattle, I don't think they're making it in. But you can you can click this graphic real quick from from Doug <laughs> Lieb. I mean he does such a good job giving us the tiebreaker scenarios Wait. and who needs to win and all that. He does such a oh, good okay. job. Never mind. And as you can see there, Seattle, only a 2% chance to make winner's bracket. They're pretty Jeez. much... that You're eliminated. Yeah, they're that. done. No, You're yes. out of this. Seattle's and losers. Done. LAG's and losers. Most likely... Well, that's why Minnesota versus Heretics is so big. I mean, essentially, the I mean, their fate's in their own hands. If Minnesota wins, they're kind of hoping that Vegas wins. So they're rooting for Vegas. I do think Vegas versus Carolina, I have Vegas to win it. Um, so I feel like if Minnesota do take it home, they should be good. But well, a lot we, of... Go ahead. We also do have a stat. So the first three maps of today's series are Invasion, High Rise, and Karachi. Carolina's combined record on those three maps for the year is 4-18. and 18. Dude, what? Oh. So the first three maps of this series heavily favor Vegas and Vegas oh, has been Jesus. looking good they're 0 and 7 on invasion hardpoint oh lord and it's still in there not good and it, Vegas is looking good Vegas is looking good on invasion Vegas is 3 and 3 I mean how do you go how is an 0 and 7 map in there I mean they're that, probably that's what tough. are they vetoing <laughs> that, that, that must mean I think it means that they had to be they either have to be looking good at it in scrims and they're confident now which like I respect it if they think they turned it around sure go for it yeah Unless they think Vegas has like a guaranteed map that they vetoed. I'm curious to see what they vetoed. Well, I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to throw my prediction in. I got Vegas in this series. Carolina's been looking real shaky. They do hold the head-to-head -head on the season uh, versus Vegas somehow. But, yeah, Vegas uh, Vegas has been looking a lot better. Uh, Geo showed some love yesterday. I love that. I always – I love uh, everybody loves getting just a little bit of gas, a little bit of tippage. Yeah. Uh, but I got Vegas taking this series. I think they might 3-0 them, honestly, based off of the map records – they might yeah, just come out get three. That's what I was thinking. I didn't want to say, but I was literally thinking based off of how do you not pick Vegas three zero? We saw right. Carolina play high rise last week as well. I believe they lost that to to LAG. If I'm if I'm remembering that correctly, uh, just not a really good map set for Carolina. But again, maybe you got to play the game. Call of Duty is very day to day game. 
We'll see. I don't know. Maybe they maybe they got some improvements here in some of these in maps and modes. They but need Gwyn frying today. They need Gwyn going they fucking need, crazy. They need their young Slayer to turn up. Yep. Next up, we've got the Minnesota Rocker taking on the Miami Heretics. Big game. Huge game. Really determines both of these teams' chances of getting into that winner's bracket. It's a massive game today. Uh, again, Miami, a win, and a Carolina or Boston loss, and they're in. And then Rocker, a win plus a Vegas win, and they're in. So... It's Both huge, these teams, yeah. it's a big match. It, it, again, not the most exciting, but a huge match for the winner's bracket, which is very, very important. Miami could start a loser's bracket at their own tournament. What do you guys think is going to happen in this about series? It. Apparently, Gwyn's going to play AR and Clayster SMG. There's no way. Yeah, Wait. Scrap said, uh, was it yesterday? I think Scrap said that Carolina made a, a role change. Did he specify? Because if anything, I feel like Fellow would run the sub. Then they'd put Gwyn yeah, on the second right. AR. Like, I feel like, I mean, damn. That'll, I mean, that'll definitely be an interesting, fun watch if they got Clay on the uh If we see SMG. James with a, U, with a sub today, we see Eubanks with a sub. Wow. Watch him come Getting out and cracked, just be different. Just fucking frying everybody. It's I, a god gun. I wouldn't be shocked. I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, a roll switch, especially at that age. Don't doubt him. Listen, I just don't. I think it's hard. I think it's a very hard transition. If it's true, I think that's a very. It's it's not like he went from a flex to a fucking sub. He is like a main AR. Yeah, but and Gwyn, always has been. Could just always has been a main AR. Yeah. And now he's a sub. Yeah, but on invasion, we're gonna see three ARs. Yeah, that's Ma fair. Maybe that's why they're more confident on it now. Maybe like, maybe they're gonna go into it with oh, three yeah. ARs, and I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see if they have something for him because Owen Seven is a shit record. Easier. I actually don't know who. Uh, who takes Miami versus Rocker, though? Yeah. Because they're both coming off a win. You heard Lamar say, like, you know, we know the situation we're in. We're just going to make the best of it. Then Miami, I think Eric Boom was like, if you guys saw our practice, an intro? You, you would think we're way better. So I, I really don't know. It's not an intro? That's pretty dope fucking B-roll. I can't lie. I need to pause my music to talk about this. Oh, yeah, here's Scrappy. Criminal. They have Gwyn on an AR and Clay on the sub. Gwen on AR, Clay on sub. I just played them, bro. I played them. Oh, oh. shit. Nah, you're trolling. I mean, we'll see how it goes. It's it's a I'm big change. Serious. No, Something, I mean, they haven't been playing great, so it, it makes sense that they're trying to make a change. I just think that that one is, it's it's very uh, polarizing, is the word I'm looking for. But Minnesota versus Miami, what do y'all think is going to happen in this series? Both teams have been struggling. I believe both teams only have one win on the split. What do we think? They yeah. haven't shown us much. I think I, I think it's a coin toss. I'll go Minnesota 3-1. I'm leaning towards MN as well in this series. I don't know why, but I'm leaning towards MN. I don't know, man. I, I feel like I feel like their chemistry might might win <clears throat> them the series more I than mean, anything. I think it depends if Lynn's is back to form. Because I feel like we've been seeing Lynn's struggle more than we've been seeing like stage one, he was crazy. Stage two, he, he, he's been... I think the whole team has obviously not been playing great. They're, what, one and five? Yeah. But I think I, I think they need Linz to return to prior form. We also need to see Awakening in, like, the major form because he was so good at the major, and then I feel like they came back online and then once again a bit inconsistent. So, yeah, I'm honestly... I'm leaning towards Heretics, I think. Appreciate I, you, Joseph. I think I'm going to go Heretics taking it. Guy. Yeah, Minnesota's weird, man. Again, their their trajectory and just how their season has gone is so weird. At the end of stage one, they look great. At the major, they get top four. They bow out. They only look bad against the top three teams. And then this split comes around, and they get hit with one of the hardest schedules ever. And now they find themselves one in five, and they keep going game five. So it's one of those it's one of those teams where you look at their record, and you're like, one in five, these guys are shit. But I still think that they have it in them to get back to that form and be up there. Miami has just been struggling for a while now. I mean, they... They won yeah. their first match in like 50-something days. So I still have faith in Minnesota. I think they're going to win this series. Um, I think it's. I think it is a kind of a coin flip, though. I, I agree. I think it is kind of a coin flip for the second series. But I think I, I, got, I give the slight edge to Minnesota. And then last but not least, we have the Toronto Ultra, the Squirrels, taking on the Thieves. This is an interesting match. It really it is. is. Ultra lose a game five to us last week. Goes, you know. Not not how they want. They get Nesload. Their search and destroy looks bad. First time we've really seen that. Their control doesn't look great. We, sl we slam them in 2-3-5. Sl 
Now they're going against Thieves, who looks solid. Who looks solid, but does Thieves have what it takes to take out one of these top echelon teams? Well, this is this is where we see where both Toronto and Thieves are at. Because Toronto, they lose to Phase and Optic, which like, okay, Toronto losing to Phase and Optic, that's like okay for them to where like they can still be confident. Yeah. If they lose to Thieves, they might take a hit in confidence like, oh shit, like now we have to be worried because before we were losing to S tier, A tier teams, now Thieves is creeping up and playing well. So... It's also a test for Thieves because they get slammed by FaZe, but despite that loss, they've been looking pretty good. So it's really, it's an interesting one. I think I, you have to take Toronto yeah, right going. now. Until until Toronto loses to a team that's like not S or A tier, I think you have to give the benefit of the doubt to Toronto. I don't think Thieves are ready for today. Me I don't. Either. I think Thieves have looked a lot better. I think they've done great to get kind of back into the mix. They've got four wins on the split. I don't think they got what it ta has, takes today to beat Toronto. I think it might be slammy whammy, actually. I think Toronto's going to come back looking for some vengeance. Are we going to see another attached master class? And here we go. Map one. I took I took Miami. They, they both took Rocker. And then I'm taking Toronto in the third game. I mean, I'm taking Toronto 3-0. No cap. Ooh. Oh, Tell me Clayster. I want to see what gun he's using. He's probably using AR, right? No matter what in this map. Yeah, because he has a sub and T has Or not T. I said T. T has one and I don't know. Oh! Oh! What the fuck? What gun's Clay using? Show me Clayster with that submachine gun. Is it SMG? Yeah, Gwen had... No, Gwen has an SMG. I know that. Oh, tragic. I think Clay has a AR. Yeah, I mean, he hits the first one. He's hoping for a little bit of a lunge there on the second melee, but doesn't connect. All right, we got Vegas in the P2, but Carolina's got that broken side. We always talk about it. Want to keep them trapped over at Palace, and that's two for Geo. I love this guy now, man. Yeah, he's been going crazy. Evil Shotzi. All you got to do is gas me one time, and I love him. I love him. Is that crazy? Evil Shotzi? No. Evil Shotzi. Is Wario an evil Mario? He's lost a lot. Needs to get a kill or two. Or Who the fuck is Wario? What is his backstory? Really Wario? Like well, I, I, don't, I don't really know his backstory. He was a freak. Okay. Was on one. Yeah, no, I mean, he was. I mean, yeah, I feel like we'd have seen Patch 2-piece, Nero 2-piece, Geo 2-piece. He's been consistent, but not always the pop-off moments we were seeing. <laughs> Dude, evil yeah, shots is crazy. Vegas now has two Shotzi semi-doppelgangers. Purge we'll and Geo. Geo like is evil right, Shotzi. Like, they're just Purge is young <laughs> Shotzi. Confidence. Like, things are starting to click after they make the move and get Geo on this team. Larry for the 10. Thank know, you. I appreciate that. Zinni, you are like a corner piece of a puzzle. Without you, I'm completely lost. Oh, my God. Over towards the... You know, this P3, it's a good job from Gio to win off We're seeing some pretty kind of crazy gunfight losses. Carolina spawning all the way out towards Palace. TJ, TJ the last uh, man alive up towards Gas. Come on, TJ. God uh, damn it. Yeah, it was gonna shit, Tommy. One, but not going to happen. A huge break there for Legion. Yeah, I thought with the rival there, maybe able to do it. But Gio, yeah, and Vegas going to break into this P3. Flight. This is not good for Carolina. For Vegas Legion, they look to get the advantage. Nice shots from Gwen. Gio putting in damage for the back tank. Sets it up for a patch. Fellow trying to snap at the car now. Vegas off to a great start. A 90 to 25 lead. Lead, hanging the P4. You go up 50 now. You're looking to get the rest. And the Royal Ravens are also spawning on Palace side. Well, this is what Vegas did so well yesterday in the hard points was these breaks. Wario these is Mario's goals. evil cousin. They just dude, did I knew not it. Allow Surge to get back into the game, and even just a hit like that, I know it is very early. Yeah, it's 90 to 25. Response from Carolina. Now you're down. Vegas also has the favorable side of the map. They got this gas side. And now look, three spawns out. They're gonna. They got splits. They a good amount of time from Legion. Yeah, those hard points yesterday, just like. Just had three fall manager ahead and able to hold on to it. Not like those crazy swings like we've seen in a lot of these series for the most part. Mm. Handling business, playing well with the lead. We'll see if they can get to okay, do it here. Fell. But now the central hard point doing a good job just keeping people out of it. It's nearly 20 seconds was already off the point. Now trying to get into it will be Royal Ravens. It's just slaying, man. It I mean, with attach, is attach it's similar to LAG. Like LAG, the guys they just don't have the slang. Yeah, and it feels right now, like Ravens are kind of in that, that same boat right now. The they just can't win. find fucking He's kills. Yeah, they're just, just getting outslayed by everybody. I mean, T is too intense. And well, he's going to do that. So he's going to find a double. But the spawns safe right now for Legion. So they're going to rotate over towards P5. And they're about to lose the blue rotation. And that's to too dead. This is not going to be All the kills are for Vegas. Playing his life. Finally traded out. 
but it's just TJ now, the furthest man forward for Carolina. Gwen so close to making that play, just too many bodies mm. for Vegas, and then yeah, Gwen so is weak rewarded there. with a palace spawn. So he's got <clears throat> spawns out so deep after nearly making the heroic play. But look at this track; they got to run all the way down B get Street. They're getting next. cut. You sort of book this up. The top street got near the point. Now you've got I mean, yeah, the, the Ravens need a wave the of kills here. And looking like another two piece for a Vegas member. That's three. Okay, oh bird. my god, god he just man. delivered it. Fellow gets ripped in. That was actually That's filthy. Order. Purge has been Purge starting has to shoot been big for better as well for yeah, Vegas. Purge is starting to get consistent, man. But I feel like they're in very favorable scenarios. Like this map. But there's nobody really Carolina's just been playing off the back foot this whole fucking time. You got no map control, you're just getting rotated on. Look at that shit, what are you supposed to do? Well, that's going to turn into some time and through this first set of rotations. What we talked about yesterday, just that 80 point lead for Legion. And well, Legion, the listening so good yesterday. Let's go to a listening with Vegas. Listen in. Give me a freezer. I'm sure time. Yep. I'll see I'm looking over you, I think David. Quinn Hurt on the right. P1 tank, right side. Oh, oh, whoa, what's that? You heard that? I heard that too. Back right core, back right core. Wait, 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 wait,
Yeah, you'll take this if you're first, right? In, in Legion, they're gonna Lucky Chamu, what's up, kid? Chamu. We have a very clean rotation yeah, over dude, Team's getting harpooned. A of players die. You see the spawns coming Purge is huge. He needs to make one so player's life. One, one. Okay, so they spawn towards the front. Come so on, give him, give him your back and assassinate him. Lucky Shamu, dude, play. what the no, fuck? Kills, You're watching the CDL, aren't you dropping stun, into so the fucking resurgence? Top blue. But so many people are focused Purge is on doing a great job being All annoying. Look, 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 look at the way Carolina have to play. You got SR to gain, kid. Okay. You get the numbers here for Royal Ravens. You take down three. You lose one. You get control. Yeah, Ravens do a good job here. I mean, they do flip the map, but they're just they're just so far out of it now. What the hell? He can't take his fight. So I fear it's too late. It's another moment, like we kind of heard during the listening, where you start to kind of chip away at this. Dude, you're what? making some good plays if you're Royal Ravens. It's just, I mean, this is the problem of going down a hundred early. This feels like you're always Dude. trying to claw your way back. <laughs> yeah, man, man, they are. Uh, this is no surprise, unfortunately, for Carolina. Oh. Kind of used to this if you're a fan of them. 0 oh, 7 throughout the year on Invasion Hardpoint. Yeah, 0 oh, 7. They might they be looking at 0 oh, 8. If you're 0 oh, 8 on a map, are you ever playing it again? So right now, looking more like no. an 0 oh, 8. We were at least not. Too, Joe. We were thinking about for a long time. It. I mean, you're 0 and 8 on it. But you're going to see Geo just tough. on this hill. Has a trophy down. And Nero getting his cuts towards blue. And again, just chipping away towards that 250 point mark. Yeah, right. Any second you can get so close to a victory here. Trying to make the rally. It's Carolina. Geo now poised to pounce. The hell? Going Whoa. some time. Contest some time. Felony able to get a double. Just keep this alive. Uh, again, a nice yeah, sequence here from Carolina. They're keeping Whoa, it alive. A little too later. Do you ramp up some sort Teej of miracle? somehow, now, yeah, even still. Kind of keep them out what a the comeback, sure but... They can't get any time. Happy to do that and play his life. But this is over. Gunfight to Gwen. Gio will be next up the yeah, bat. just too many kills for Vegas. I mean, they're all they're all slaying so well. Here, so you do a good job at extending this to another hard point if you're Carolina, but you are close <laughs> and chomping to the bit if you're Legion. Yeah, you're what so is fucking Nate Shot saying, man? What is he What is he uttering over today? He's out of his mind. Dude, he's out of his mind. He needs to be stopped. I just should do it. Yeah, and that's how do map one. Damn. Vegas Legion with another Damn. Hard point victory. I mean, you just had to Vegas look so good, man. Like, I mean, I don't know if this is Vegas looking good. Those guys, they're 0-7 on the map. The Ravens Ravens look at me, it's fair. And Legion they have it not won the map. There, tractor, but like, yeah, it's well. been 8-4 now for them. The hard point's been clicking. You saw like the holding and breaking stats. That's not ideal. I mean, Danny with a five. You just, just got my rich and lonely time scum from Nate Major One in the mail. Like, Shout out to the whole no, watch party and let's go up. Like Yo, you saw my design uh, suggestion in the chat last night? I was cooking up. <laughs> I was dying. I think it could come out sick. If it's done how I see it, it could be sick. Trust. I got a vision. Taking a look at the scoreboard, TJ brings it back. Everybody negative besides Fellow. Just to outslay. Getting outslayed, getting out rotated. Geo been cooking some shit up. And now they got a high rise coming up where I'm pretty sure they got slammed on the last time they played it. Yeah, Geo frying. Evil Shotzi and Shotzi both frying. Marcus with a 20. Morning, boys. Another day, another stream. Hey, that's. That's the life, Marcus. man. Uh, BDA ships Two, next week, like brother. Appreciate the 20, Marcus. Yeah, we played some ranked so earlier. We uh, we I went you negative SR in the there. day. Like, you just try to set up I think that's back-to-back -back days we've gone negative wow. SR. was not ideal. We can't go positive SR. Yeah. Send me your uh, order number, yeah, Adam. Very far, uh, across the map. But now Send me your location. No, I don't think we went negative SR the other day. I lost 14 SR in four hours today. But, but, actually, let me actually make up an excuse. Uh, I lost 30 SR because my cat unplugged my Ethernet. So technically, I lost 60 for that. I lost 60 for your cat unplugging your shit. Bro, Mark, my cat comes into my room. He's, like, on the carpet rolling around and shit. We get into a game, fucking locked in, right? Everything goes down. Right after Nate Shot was saying that his stream was getting audio delay, Someone said in my chat, you're getting audio delay now too, and everything just went down. Look to look in the back right where my like switch is. My cat's rolling around on the wires. <laughs> I was so pissed. Did I catch Pred stream last night? I did not. Someone gifted him 600. That's a good night. Wait, what? That's a good night for AG. Yo, oh my god, bro! Thank you for the bombs. The 600 gifted, bro. Get some W's in the chat, man. 
How many? Six hundo from one person? Yeah. Jesus. Gotta buy that guy a beer. Hell yeah. Bozen's any Pine Park podcast. If I, if I smoked, I'd start talking to the television. I cannot be on any podcast when I'm smoking. Gotta buy that fucker a beer. 600 subs. I mean, shit. Get an 1100 sub train? Hey, man. Good for him. What a night on stream. Geo looks like Robert Whitaker? I'm not sure who that is. Mystic with a five. He said, for the bread. Niall would attend. Love the stream. <laughs> Can I get a happy yeah, birthday yeah. to my boy Bravo? Bravo, a happy fucking birthday. Much love. Happy birthday, bro. Big Bob would attend. Got my Optic FC jersey, and that thing is clean. Absolutely. Absolutely. Could have sworn I just ran into Money Bows. Joe, as you were going through stuff, what were your thoughts? <laughs> yeah, and, and, you know, we talk about Matt Poole. I think SND. What do you think uh, about that, Mark? The beard's similar. Definitely don't want to get like better, side profile, face those only? Those nah, that looks like I omens. Mean, <laughs> that looks like Mike. <laughs> oh, nah, yes. I see it. I, I see it in the profile. Of their round, the beard. So can they find a little bit For the one I. Uh, uh, yeah, that's right. Optic Halo 3. Oh, and pool play. Hopefully, again, if Optic's playing tonight, we'll turn on the stream after uh, the CDL watch party and, and watch party some Optic Halo. If they're not, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know how many games they'll have played by the time the CDL's done today. Where are the mocks at? The mocks are at home. I usually only wear them when I'm gaming. But when it's like when you're 12, like... Is this something where like you're getting a kill and it's just you're not decisive enough beyond behind that? Or All right, here we go. Map number two, high rise, search and destroy. Hole. Yeah, I think it's just like little columns, like trying to the second step of the map after we have this first blood. Where do we want to go? How do we want to execute? All right, who do we got in map two? Like we think opening. Carolina yeah, can tie the series up, or are we thinking Vegas 2-0? Yeah, then it gets hard. I'm thinking Vegas 2-0. I have all the spots mapped out. Okay, Hector. Talking about those first bloods. Dude, Hector, I see you. Uh, you're fishing out there again, man. What are you, just a professional fisherman now? He's out there eating, fishing. I saw that marlin you caught. Home, Holy shit, that's a fucking in. beauty. Look at that. Ooh. Did you see the fish he caught on Twitter? Yeah. No. Like an 80 pound yeah, fucking yeah. marlin? Uh, really? A bit there, but no, Damn. The first blood. He'll drop and now when I was playing with Mav the other day, that, uh, he was telling me uh, a bluefin tuna can be from like 800 to 1,000 pounds. Oh, yeah, and they're fast as shit. I didn't know that. I didn't know a bluefin was going to get a thousand pounds. Is it yellowfin Maybe or bluefin? I, I thought it was, I, I thought he said bluefin. If it's going to be picked up, he's Chad, is it yellowfin or bluefin? That well, was yesterday, man. Gonna take out the first. Maybe grab an MCW and now he can. I had no idea. You were seeing exactly eight hundred to a thousand pounds. Maybe you try to get around two versus one for James. A longer, but nearly able to turn and burn. Yeah, he's not thinking there's two in there. He's got to track down that bomb as well. Because you have attached all the way across the map. Just gonna say, blue hey, is the I big one. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even know there was a blue fin tune. I thought they were all fucking yellow. And there we go. They're worth millions? Fuck you mean they're worth millions? Grab the rods. Shit, dude. Let's go catch a blue fin. Millions. He like knew there was another because he just kept looking over there the entire time. I thought he got a com or something. That's why he kept looking. Look at left, that, damn! Left, left, that's like damn. a baby, but and then still. Like instant MCW and snap. I was like, ooh, catching it. That's got to be yeah, a baby, been, right? Been sick, but uh, not quite able to. Do not it, a baby, so. but like a smaller one, because those that, dude. Your, have you seen uh, a big marlin? Rate, if you no, want they're vegan. fucking huge. I'm not really up to date on all, all, all the fishing open, note. So you know, and I'm not in the know with the fishing stuff. Kill onto him, but then you take I know, like what I know, like. You know, bass, because we went so bass fishing. Oh, that's a sailfish. Now, I mean, Hector's about to fucking sign up for the circuit and start. Uh, you know. What kind of rod do you catch those with? <laughs> yeah, what the hell is the rod made of? Steel? There is a quick trade. The Valyrian steel rod? Working in tandem, so three on three. Yeah, that's one of those where it's like, who's the first plot? Right, basically, somebody drops the Purge, does the jump up, finds yeah, one. Oh! But nice shots from Fella with the And it's another two versus one for Gwen now. He's going to find one, so he's going to one on two. This is a nice read. Oh, wow, finds Geo. Throws the stun out, and it looks like Nero's just pushing this, and he's above him. Oh, oh my the God, they're running him down. Well Nero runs Nero at him. Climbs on up. A great balance Absolutely. as he runs across the top. Little ballerina. Look at this. Sort of gymnast. Where did getting Nesload go. come from? Goon with a five. Real, real uh, yeah, he guessed the wrong corner. Yeah. I don't and know. I, dude, I, I don't know how that came to be a thing. It just kind of stuck. Like, Restap was really clean. 
I didn't, when Hugo fell out a pistol, I was like, okay, that, that was probably real nuts from his end, too. Because I thought Purge almost beautiful double there, but just uh, comes It happened to him, or he was doing now it? Now up 2-0. I think oh, okay. Lee, uh, got the so Neslo was just beating teams 2-3. He, he was doing it more. Wait, more. Uh, wait oh my no God. Chance. Did you see Sean O'Malley yeah, mention the watch party on the Joe Rogan podcast? Ours? Yeah. Really? Yeah, no, I didn't have back to his default two players down low. Nero, gonna give that calm. <laughs> just watching that. Got him! Purge, just based on the timing, he was thinking about jumping, so thinking about waiting. Almost gets caught. Oh, makes my day, man. That makes, that's, that's what makes your, your day. It makes my day. Just making up something line. random and getting you with it. And Attach just and absolutely you know, smokes Gwyn underground. You're going to Ravens, you're last in that conversion rate. Well, you get the first oh, one. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, now that's hilarious. In a two versus two. I'm happy about our product that we put out every weekend we'll and you just bear me down. Round, <laughs> Don't spit it. Good. Make it like you're a fucking joke. We come in here week in, week out, grind this shit. We fucking tear my hopes down like that. Ephesus on we. Yeah, I know. It was a joke. Kind of two one make me feel like a dick, here. or make me look like a, a dick. I'm trying right? to make. I'm painting you to look like an asshole. Fucking weird. Yet, You're being painted right now. In a tough spot. Yeah, bombs down. I think the best thing for him is they have no clue. Do I take is. it a step further and say Linny? He's not into a spot. Hey man, that the, the Linny's affect you? Let him not anymore. You don't have a shirt in my closet that says Lump Never Linny. Yep. What we both have. Working out for fellow, but the time on the clock is not. He's got ten seconds, five to plant. Oh, Snaps, he and again, attaches, nah, he's getting traded time. instantly. I think he has done it again. Salt in round one. Bomb cannot be planted. Geo actually checks it. He actually three checks zero. It. I mean, this is it. just a fucking smoke show, man. Sugar Sean has Vegas been grinding Warzone though after his win. I mean, he's like a crimson and ranked. Is he? Did he just like, grind? Where are these guys at? I mean, the time I see him on every day. In the shack. Tough. <laughs> and then I mean, he's like, guys, get it out of your system. It's all right. Let's go. Let's all let. He's able to win that, but God, I mean. That was just kind of frustrating to watch. <laughs> He's literally the lap of, like the entire map. Yeah, I think the one two. I think we were on. Wait, Sentinels right didn't make it out of pool play. That's the word on the street. They didn't even make losers bracket. The helipad, but I think Geo like jumped behind him. Damn. Him, so. Sometimes that is crazy. Because they're actually. Yeah. They're, wait, that's I actually. That's, that's, actually that's probably one of the biggest upsets in like recent Halo. Them not making it out of pool play. Who's yeah, that's kind of that, that is kind of crazy. Who is who's the current center roster, guys? Sparty, Valcated, oh, Boo Boo. Yeah. 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 What the fuck? Kind of in their and they're who's they're their fourth? Letha? I think I think that's Sparty. Oh, yeah, 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 Sparty. Flame Sword probably in, just jumped for Joey and Target somewhere. I always see them beefing on Twitter. Oh, really? Okay, Vegas is smoking them. Yeah, they're smoking their shit. Gwen finally finds blood. I think that's their first first blood of the map. Someone said Zim looks easy to draw. What the fuck? Win the double chalice on point out of Carolina this round. Nice defense over towards B. Yeah, yeah Sentinels, that's crazy. In these close quarter combat scenarios. Picking up kills. All right, Geo round on the board like for Carolina. Track, finally, Wins some momentum. The round and Royal lethal? Ravens, oh, you finally get I the love board. lethal. And it's just a nice tight setup, and as you said, fellow. He was kind of, we see Nero do it, watching that cross from down low. From the Vegas side on defense, he's just playing this the picture the of Flame walking low. on target barefoot. Able to back your way in some nice kills from him in the round. And we saw him snapping a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he had a couple good snaps and like a couple situations that maybe you kind of ego chow in that moment. Bless you. But I thought it was just a good job, like just getting down, staying yeah, especially up. Especially MCW, right? You're just thinking junk fight. Yeah. Well, especially like, I mean, he snapped on someone's Me okay. and Zinni were talking about perhaps still, doing a hot tub stream for Miami. Thoughts? Vegas knows. I mean, he gets traded instantly. Yeah, I mean, they're going to say yes. That. I think they had what? Cigar lit, oh, perhaps. God. Cocktail stream. IRL. Well. No, God, please, no, no. Bring in the dancing no. lobsters. A much needed round. Yeah, but this has kind of been the same standard setup here. Well, how is it going to be a little bit different? TJ's sure. going to run into yeah. an aid, so there's some info Fuck for yeah. Purge. And there is a first blood, Geo, from the helipad <laughs> stairs. How the only problem with us doing a hot tub team is I have tits. Get baited, baited, you're all perverts. Get baited. Bait it, chat. Hey, Vegas, Chris, you want a pop? I took notes on everyone that like said yes. Hey, Chris, you want to come on over? I got popsicles. Yo, you got to hear Killer do that. Dude, Slack has has the best one. He whistles while he does it, Killer. It's so good, bro. Who are so... Pop shicklish. <laughs> yeah. And he like real. talks nice and whistles Virgil. at the same time. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh. But he starts the trades and now it's down to TJ. All right, 2v1. Okay, Vegas 4-1. This is clean and dominant from Vegas. 
They're about to go into a, uh, yeah, well, a major Perk ride in the high. Gets that I mean, I know you it's just, that. again, well, yeah, Carolina just doesn't one, so. yeah. look that great it, on this it, specific it, map. I mean, they're 4 and 18. Look at Clay's body language. There, he's like, he's losing it. What if we did a hot tub stream and I had so huge pepperoni nips? It's kind of like a first blood in the It's fucking huge. Maybe trying to catch a timing with the rival. Huge isn't the problem. It's when they're puffy, too. Huge, puffy pepperoni Huge nips. and puffy. Now you got an issue. Totally Huge. To, not that bad. Huge and flat. Yeah, you know, not crack into that top four, but... <sighs> Sorry, folks. Find some separation. Like, it sort of felt like the top four and everybody else for a while there. And now with the run from Thieves, the run from Legion, starting to... I don't know. Feel like the middle of the pack, yeah. Yeah, I feel like there's a different... Purge going there. underground <laughs> again. Outside the map. And Nero Another finds blood. Dude, this is just... Okay, at least it gets traded by Tej. Yeah, but Geo is about to get one. Oh, boy, baby. There's no one in position to trade. 3v2, which is... Clayster can't buy a damn kill. And then just doing a good job and not throwing away their lives. I think maybe he spotted TJ there. Yeah, let's say he's ready for it. And there we go. Hold on. Shots from TJ. Oh, he doesn't get the kill. He stays alive. Away, shooting the barrels. Attach though. Just going to work up. Plant his bomb. Yeah, just sort of a give and take. On I think Geo's in a great spot. Here. He's a tough kill. Know exactly how they want to execute. Yeah, 3v2. Bomb down. Gwyn gets spotted out. Not going to happen. We'll just and then Geo pounces and just... Immediately. No hesitation. Geo gets on Very concise round. Look at them. They're not giving them any freebies, man. They look really good. And, and the Carolina looks shit. Comfortable again? Yeah, if you look at the one round Carolina's won, it was that tight setup over towards B where you're kind of team shooting, there's trading. F dot said bum drunk. Like there's Enzius. Bose, would you ever consider like competing again? I feel like you'd wreck kids. Yo, you. Money Mark was shooting this morning. Would you let him? Huh? Would you let him? Well, would yeah, I let Mark compete? Yeah. I think just at the. I mean, what do we use? Mark's to joke tenure. About back in like, God, Mark can like do what he pleases. <laughs> so he's allowed to compete. I'm not allowed <laughs> to compete. Yeah. Like Mark's <laughs> tenure. He's got history. But, like, it's a little bit easier. You know, in a tight setup. hundred percent. Yeah. Just from the comps. I feel like that's a pretty fair point. But no, I I, I don't LG want Mark to compete because like if we lost him on the watch party, I think it'd be the opposite. It would. It would kind of piss me off. Quite frankly, it's quite kind of piss me off. And Vegas might win it here. One out, but still you get the number 3v2. He just trapped behind Legion. propane. TG. There, if you're TG, 6 1 victory. The way, and and that's going to be a. That's a donut for you, Ben. That's a munchkin, though. It's a munchkin. Continue to separate munchkin. Themselves from the rest tough, of the man. It's tough. Carolina looked flat. Vegas riding a high. 2 0 Vegas. So I just saw James put his headset down. I saw Astro tag just shoot. Really? He, he threw it? it? <laughs> yeah, I just played it. Yeah, he went 0 5, but there were seven rounds played. So, what, what happened in two of the rounds? That is a. Uh, a team killed or something? It's a munchkin. Mark oh, okay. is up, Dave. Vegas is the most likely team to upset a top four at the event. Yeah, I agree. I mean, them or thieves have the most upset potential. Yeah, look at the scoreboard. It speaks for itself. I mean, Clay has a stinky. Car well, all, all Carolina, they, they're all just about even, but I guess the teamwork from Vegas just carrying them through the map. And Ravens continuing to struggle on these first three maps. They're now 4-20. and 20. Blaze that shit. They're 4-20 and 20 on the first three maps of the series. That's not going to get it done. Uh, Dirtbag with a 20. If you guys could take two maps from last Ooh. year's CDL season to replace two maps from this year, what maps would you pick and which would you replace? I'm getting rid of Invasion. And I'm replacing it with Hotel Everything. Correct. Hotel for Invasion Everything. And then... What do you get rid of? Because Subbase is only hardpoint. Embassy. Terminal is only search. And then we get Embassy. And then we get Embassy in the rotation. For Terminal? And we get terminal out of the rotation. Really? I'm bringing in Mercado instead of instead of Embassy. You're bringing in Mercado instead of Embassy. I'm I'm bringing in Mercado, and we play Mercado Hardpoint and Search, and we replace Terminal Search and Subbase Hardpoint. Surely. So like kind of two birds, one stone. What in the hell is even this? Uh, find kids next it's door so and put many, in the right? STF. Like Riley, like I'm not gonna lie. There's not a chance in hell we get through this today. No, nah, but we. But let's put... There look. is a thousand different shows on there. Let's put Kids Next Door in the S tier, please. Let, let's find it. 
I'm looking, Riley. Exactly. There's 600 of them. There it is. S tier for the kids next door. <laughs> There's fucking 600. Batman of them, Beyond and S tier. Hell yeah. What else? Uh, where, where was it? Mm, there's Envious with a five member. Come on then, Envious, big doggy. Yeah, find Courage the Cowardly Dog and put it in the S tier, please. There it goes. Oh, they're alphabetical. Okay. I can't really see. Oh, Powerpuff Girls, A tier. Right there, yep. Dude, Powerpuff Girls actually went hard. Did I see Ed, Ed and Eddie? Ed, Ed and Eddie S tier. S tier, absolutely. That show made us all brain dead. Yeah, some more than others. Correct. Okay. Oh, I'm going to look at the chat and see. What the Johnny Bravo, S tier. Really? You put Johnny Bravo, S tier? A, 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 A. I put Johnny Bravo, A. But, hot take, I would put The Grim Adventures That's of so Billy and Mandy in the S tier. The Grim Adventures oh, of Johnny Bravo. Billy and Mandy. And then, of course, let's just say how it is. Yep. The original Teen Titans is one of the best cartoons ever made. Throw it yep. on up there. To your left, Riley. Yep, bang. Are these are these all Cartoon Network? Yes. Wait, is Rocket Power on there? No, that was that was Nickelodeon. Yeah. Oh. I actually never watched Chowder, so that one. Yeah, that's what I was. That one I can't speak on. Same. Wait, is that Batman Beyond? Oh, throw it the fuck up there. Agree. That shit went hard. I never oh, watched. Oh yeah, it. Agree. dude. Any yeah. Star Clone Wars? If it's on here. Oh, hold God, on. Like, Let wait, me just interrupt Boondocks? this program to say the Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Wait, Let's put that in the S tier. You're going to see uh, Absolutely. to your left. Yep, right there. Right in the S tier. Clone Wars? you never seen the animated Star Wars shows? I don't think I have. See? That's that's one that you got to tune into. It's like, it, it takes place like in the Clone Listen, Wars. I feel like this is kind of biased, but like I would put both Scooby-Doo and a pup named Scooby-Doo both in the S tier. I'm, I I'm fucking a, loved both Scooby-Doo shows. I'll say yes to Scooby-Doo. Pup um, named Scooby-Doo. I don't know. I would put it in the S tier, but I'm okay with A, I guess. But personally, S tier. A pup named Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo. Yeah, I've never seen Chowder. I can't lie. Samurai Jack, S tier. <laughs> we're, we're just throwing all of our favorites in the that. S tier. I mean, yeah, you have to. You got to get you got to get the best ones out of the way so you can focus up. I need to, I need some fucking I need a magnifying glass. Yeah. Oh God. I, I also haven't seen Adventure Time, but I know it's like one of oh. the... I know people love it. Maybe, but I've the, never... maybe the best show on this list. Really? I think I think it's the best show Cartoon Network has ever put out, Adventure Time. I, I have nothing but respect for it because of its reputation. It has to be good to have the reputation. Chad, what do we think about that? Is Adventure Time the best show that Cartoon Network has ever put out? I think so. I don't know. I See, I haven't seen it, but for my best, I would go Kids Next Door or Teen Titans. Shake my fanny, I can shake my can. Dude, I you haven't seen Adventure Time? No. Me either, I don't think. Let's do one more before we get back. Um, I see everyone saying Ben 10. Ben 10, all of it ass. I don't even... Ben 10... Yeah, just, I, really I haven't even it. seen it. I, enjoy, I enjoyed Ben 10. I would, I would put it in the B tier, but that's going to be controversial. Because... I feel like we have to start being... Oh, Dexter's Laboratory. Find it and put it in the S tier. Candice, get out of my laboratory! <laughs> Didi, get out of my laboratory! I've never seen the regular show. I can't lie. Look how many Ben 10s there are. Yeah, that's why they throw me off. Um, right there. Fucking, it literally is Ben 10. Looney Tunes? Because there's 10 of them. I used to love the Looney Tunes, man. I'm excited to come back to this. God, chat, they do not make them like they used to. For everybody in here that got to experience the era of TV like we did, Nickelodeon, um, Cartoon Network, I'm talking Cyber Chase, Dragon Tales. If you experienced the golden era of cartoons and TV, we experienced something that no one else will experience in their lifetime. And we will, and, and we will take that win to our graves, damn it. Not me and Matt were talking about it earlier. When I have children... Carolina, I'm going to be like so the gassed. They're not even going to want to watch animated movies, and I'm just going to make them. You got to put on the. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. When Trolls I have a kid, 4? I might have to put on like the old school shit. Trolls 4? You're watching it. Like, like my kids are going to watch the shows that we're talking about. I feel like we have to. 
round makes it to qualify. No, nah. it'll be it'll be too outdated at that point. We're, I mean, at that point, it's going to so be like 3D and bullshit. And again, for mm. Vegas, the the TV is going to fucking the TV is going to be in front of you, and shit's going to be happening in the room. Testing that map pool for the major. Yeah, every time I say we've never seen them, I'm talking about this qualifier. This roster. Yeah, basically, yeah, this roster, which is yeah, Batman the animated series. You think about these two franchises. Last time they faced off, what it was that. All right, here we go. Sweep, Map like, three. Holy like shit. Fenny really two, quick with a 50 was, super like, chat. I'm sorry, Fenny but matches. he said, I'm sorry, How but we fight. The OG Ben 10 and Ben 10 Alien monsters. Force are S tier. You booling with that take. Here on yeah, to, at least you one take I never saw nice it. Retake. Now they're going to be worried. So I can't, I can't even speak on it. And I want to know if Robot Chicken's on that list. Are Cartoon Network and Adult Swim technically the same thing, or are they different? No. Oh, they're different? Bro, okay. The objective on Adult a. Swim was great. But I like this play from that was like our rated all. For the kids. I love that he just spawned up. He just went right to the corner, just in the dumpster wall. I'm like, whoever that is, I'm just staring at the minimap. Whoever's going over that is going to be pissed Dude, Vegas off. Vegas is just slapping That's him around. That's always a tough death. What was that? I mean, Code Lyoko was a good show. Whoever just said that, Eric. Shot. Yeah, great shout. Demon. Hell okay. yeah, Code Lyoko. Two ticks so on to A, of Carolina. A. They didn't fully commit and it looks like game. now they're they're like not even I in the trap yet, to. but it, they're playing like they're With in that, that trap. Yeah, yeah, right. so now have to they are, right? He was like on dumpster, just control. pooling for a little bit. All his teammate was just mid. How many lives Push out of it. Somebody, okay. Get out there. Oh, no, another so a double pinch. It works. There Carolina get A. They have a little under two minutes to work with. They're down three lives. Shouldn't really matter for B though. Trying to get set up or into their setup is Paris Legion. In there with the trade, maybe a second fight onto attach, but he's just lurking for now. They're gonna take out Nero as well. So. Look at number six on the mini. He's playing for that spawn kill. kill. He's gonna find Nero in the base. Here. They gotta find number yeah, four though. Four is pushed out. This point, okay. Trying to get this close red spawn, but you do have one player kind of blocking it right now. It will be Purge. So you see them hunting him, but he's able to find Damn, the And that's not good. The kill just aren't dropping. Oh, that down. boy Luke would have 50 T out here. What the fuck? Happy birthday, Luke. Happy Saturday. Today is my birthday, and I'm lucky to have the watch party. Happy birthday, Luke. Possible, they do just that. I missed just the first couple matches in this nice series. Have Kurt, they been close, yeah, or is Carolina getting slammed? Getting Luke, slammed. Carolina is getting moment, fucking no, slammed. You red side control, you never know how things might unravel. First map was not close. Second map no, might have been worse than first map. Clock, right? there was a minute 30. He's on they are uh, they're struggling. Now they got 40 Goodbye, seconds left dude. on this control That's round. They got to gotta find yeah, number yeah, two. Time time they got to kill this guy. See, he's just going to play his life now. Spawn Tiege and Narnia. Reinforcing over and all these kills are so influential. Yeah, Look at that. Now they got to run around the whole map again. Sprinting on over. And very staggered here from Carolina. You just got to get control of junk. Not able to do so. Maybe ignore that player. Looks like that's going to be the call. Oh, it's bad timing. Left in his desperation time. Three kills. Clay able to get involved. But here's the pinch. The second one of this. How oh, often? Fenix with a 50. Dropping 50 like in all three chats. But all of y'all got to watch the OG Ben 10. Fenix, I appreciate you. You absolute legend. Thank you, bro. Until a moment ago. I feel like I've watched I the OG Ben 10. I, I remember liking it. Oh, that's oh, a weird gun fight. Yeah. Nero. Oh. Carolina. Oh, I didn't they see him. Well, Mokes likely lose round one. Out, Four lives remaining, five seconds to go. You finally get the close red spawn. Yeah, last push Vegas coming in. Spawns what? Left. Man, this is... It down. Yeah, no, that's perfect way to put it. If I, Damn. If this is lopsided, man. Just, uh, too late. Dude, am I, I sleeping on Ben 10? Happy birthday, Luke. Happy birthday, buddy. Thanks for joining us. Riley always has these birthday. These Fenn birthdays. with a 50. I appreciate you, baby. I appreciate you, Fenn. Much love, dog. Passing 20 minutes, you've got two kills. It's just, it's it's tough to like. A lot of times, it's been for down, down, like down, 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 down. Like a, a play, like what is Ben 10? Is it like aliens or some shit? I'm locked. Wait, you never even seen it? And you rated? You never seen Ben 10? Never seen it. Just piss me off. Ben 10 had like a. He can morph into like 10 different like. Offense mean offense and they control it. Like, yeah. It could be a blast. Was it different, so Beast Boy. Was it different aliens? I'm just waiting yeah, to see it, maybe. Knock maybe off Beast Boy. Comes to life a little bit here and they start Wait, I thought you were actually just rating. Just ben 10 was a good show. Knock off Beast Boy. Still alive and well. I would put Ben 10 in A for me personally. 10 and 5, 3 in a row. Yeah, TJ, though, does he want a big flank? So able to get Purge might be my favorite point. player. I love him. <laughs> my you gosh, Mave. I love him, dude. Mave loves Purge. Over here, gassing him up a lot in the green room. Dude. 
No, you're good. Uh, Adam. I'll let you know. What did Nameless say when, he, when they said Dune 2 flooded? What? What? That's irreversible damage. I wonder how long that's going to go for. There's nothing like Beast Boy. Hip, let me have he sure this. Is. Well, he's up to 11 now. I'm just hating the hate right now, Dave. literally. Carolina have done a pretty good job. Is this what some creatures this, on, on Twitter feel like when they're just right hating the hate? Because it's the point. kinda so nice. The will probably be on B. It's kinda nice. And we'll see if they can... Ben 10. Develop a okay. push maybe a little bit Oh, do you on the pitch? <laughs> Even if it's not like... Number 8's reading so good reading number 8. Oh my god, the timing. It's a little bit messy. Oh, thank god. Can you get some pressure on towards B before there's 30 seconds left in the round? I mean, it's... Looking like there already might be a little success, but as Purge tries to get the guy, he's kind of headed the rest of his Plays team. having so another rough respawn. The spawn, wait for him, One of the rough map in general. God damn. The four hours starting to collapse here from Royal <laughs> Ravens, but you're already able to take out yeah, one. Yeah, minute and a half. They do end up capturing the A point. Now, red. eyes now you have number four and two and on B. That's a smoke in a respawn. Uh, he's not supposed to be throwing that. TJ, fellow. That oh, is what we call a red shit. card. That's a smoke. That was definitely not intentional. So luckily... Vegas threw that, right? Yeah. yeah, Purge. Purge just threw it. Luckily, yeah. nothing came out of that. I don't think he was expecting that, but he goes and toss it. No. That's, it happened to happen. That right there <laughs> is <laughs> what looks like an honest yeah, mistake. Yeah, yeah. I, I, he didn't mean And luckily, nothing came from so it because if, if they like got map control because of it, it would have caused a shit stir of drama. They're definitely still going to complain about it. That's what they were fighting for. And here we go. Vegas can now start this attack. Hey, TJ stun hits. This doesn't connect. He gets him sprinting forward. You pick up another kill. And now Clay. Okay. Clay gets a space nice station. There. Wow. Yeah. Space sort of station. That about to lose you know, map one. Sort of Quadra. Versus three. You Quadra was, and, Quadra, and that's winner's bracket. Quadra was always a threat every time I watched him play. 30 seconds to go, though. Two kills through an attach. Here we go. This is going to be their Look last push for Vegas. The Purge finds the timing. Oh. Doesn't find the guy in hop wall. Two for two trades. Doing the attach. Yeah, does make oh the guy in the hill. Kills. Oh my god. And he's gonna, he might detonate, guys. He might throw a detonate. Well. Oh my gosh. Geo finds another seven lives remaining. And Nifty wins the gunfight. <laughs> if you know, you know. Oh no. The fuck? This is this round's over. Folks, the series is over. Vegas has. Oh swept God. the Carolina you World Ravens. Those close red spawns and Legion did it. They were layering the Oh map, my God. Spot. It looked like it was going Carolina's way, but Legion clutch up. Yeah, and honestly, like there wasn't. It was probably. Oh, Carolina like not in a great spot. Like starting to come through. For Carolina, it's just. Dude, yeah, they it's just like look good, man. Control moments we talk about for the years. Just. And Carolina it's, it's don't. Three, four down, and bang, you're on the point. I, I appreciate mean, you, man. Good luck out the there, end. brother. Just, they had that for so you long, kill it. Thank you for the ten bomb, needed, bro. What? <laughs> a millimeter. I mean, Once yeah, just looking at the body one. language of the Carolina players, they're losing fucking composure. Yeah, God, you're looking at yeah, me rightfully so. Series on the year right now. This you is here. this is you not a close series at all. Six one in the search. The potential three. It's kind of crazy, actually. Vegas look great. This has been impressive, impressive stuff here from Legion. Again, for okay. Carolina, if they lose this Come one, on, everybody. I need a clay master class this round. Line, though, on, uh, Give them that kill, damn it. Some others in the lead. Teague is how the match playing is like my ass as well. You never want that as a player. And I just really kind of expected more, just considering yeah. what's on the line with him getting into winners. A little more fire, a little more passion. It's tough to do when you're losing, I know, but <clears> this has just been a statement from Legion. Carolina going to finish off the A point, though. They're, they do have good it's time here. Two and a half minutes, just about. To take some cracks sure, over at B, keep this series alive. Victory here. You do a great job. Yeah, that's a real efficient work there at A. You're off like five lives. You're able to get it. Probably the best we've seen from them. The two piece. Purge They're still going to get the like close junk spawn, though. Take out two, slow things down for now. Oh, SSG won that well. map. Yeah, oh, my God. Never mind. Quadrant just broke. kind of blocks those spawns, so... Yeah, again, he's the one making that play. Yo, Jasper with a one hundred dollar DKK. Yeah, Mace, that's that's Denmark, isn't it? Is Thank you, Jasper. Start to work up through junk. Get a wasp well, in here. Ready for it. Yeah, well, ready for the stun, no, but oh, this is not good. Mm. Nope, <laughs> not not the end of the world. <laughs> though. They do the trade the kills, so but look how look how aggressive they're playing for this. Together, two at the end of the little battle. Here Trying to jump through. Red. Two for Nero. Nero gets that final kill. Great offy from Geo. Go Carolina. Now you're taking shots. You're basically taking steps out of spawn, but. You get through, you had two people here, they die so quickly, you're able to kind of slip through the cracks now and apply a little bit of pressure over towards B. 
Do you have a heroic moment in you now if you're Royal Ravens? Can you muster something together? TJ's going to drop. Clay Five last to up. Love. It's He's Clay. It's it. taken down. Calm, cool, collected from Legion again. Guys, Stage please, a find a, a let's let's le let's keep the clay comments all down, please. I know a lot, see a lot of people right hating, please. See him on the X-ray, just right behind the door, and he's gonna find the first one. That'll slow things down here. Thirteen lives remaining here for Carolina, and there is Purge just finessing. That's not getting any better for the boys. Twenty-one in the lobby. He, oh, fuck me. absolutely no. locked, putting people on skates. The god gun, though. There's not much you can do. He's coming through clutch oh. when he needs to. Forty-five like a, to it's go. Like a wonder now to close it out. And a remarkable series here from Vegas. Here go, okay, hold on. Never yeah, mind. See? Down, All it takes is one wave on this quickly. map. It's like a lightning bolt. Look at him. Suddenly, like, off work. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I mean, I like this play from Purge. It. They only have 38 yeah, seconds. As long as they so get them deep. off, You're gonna they're good. No, that's, that's, two good play. that's a good play from Clay. No. Yeah. All these players in Hill are going to be tweaking. 1v1 for the bread. Yeah, Gwyn. He's All right, Gwyn, the saving grace. So okay, hold on. Carolina, on the board. You get around the Links, thank you for the five. Maybe, maybe the Wax, thank you for the five. Oh, ben hey, 10 Gwyn. has an alien oh, hey, that can solo. solo. Maybe that was the cold water on the face in the morning right there. Most anime standing, universes in Alien X. Gotta put respect like on like it. We saw in the previous round, Holy shit. You got the victory if you were Las Vegas Legion. I thought for a second so ben a chance him. for them to get back, but not going to happen. They close it out. Vert with Ten, he said, big shouts to one. the regular show in they Drama Island. Streak. You hold the defense here. It comes down to around five. Come on, Clay. Lock it in. I just saw like that. Yeah, appreciate the 10 bomb gems. I don't know, man. It might be just because you know, of the for the five, bro. Appreciate you, man. Allow Purse to hit big that up the UK. But, uh, big up, yeah. The driller. UK man, them UK driller. A fellow and Clay trying to lock down this A side oh, of the map. Clay getting it taken down again. Just some frustration. Drama Clay, Island. What the, the fuck is Drama Island? They put him on an island and start drama. See, maybe they can go. It's gotta be a reality way. show. It just sounds like it. Uh, side. Oh no, it might. He thought it was gonna be horrible. Oh, it it's was, a cartoon it reality show. Bad. I think it's Gio that ultimately. Huh? He gets the timing. Gets the kill. Riley is locked in. Hey, what now. the hell is How is that even possible? A cartoon reality show. If you are clay. Oh, it's a parody of reality show. Okay. Yeah, now. he's trying to find a timing there, right? It looks like he's able to find it. <clears throat> if he finds the first kill, maybe it's Everyone seems to love it. Out, <laughs> they, they, they all love it. <laughs> <laughs> love it. it. Drama loving Just bastards. The position you have right now for Vegas. You are all he fell. The place, but That's that boy, T fell. Carolina reverse sweep. You give me 100. Like Vegas wins, I give you one. No. Two people are hunting me in my spawn. He's going to spawn there again. No. No. Yeah, he's like, all right, I'm chilling for a sec. You come yeah. to me. Number six, verse four. It's a, it's a Purge ends up winning it. They got jump Nero. control. This is my real estate. Who's going first? Oh, TJ, Big win in the spawn. Oh, nope. he's got a buddy spawning on top of him. some help, though. Can Nero waste enough time for his teammates to All it's going to take is one wave, though, really so it's so... I mean, he's wasted a good amount of time. It's he's so uh, fickle, is that the word? One just kind of hits it right up the gut, though. Gwyn's able to catch that. Number My two vocabulary is deep. He can make the play. He's Pickle. at least able to get one, and now they start to push up towards the point, trying to take maybe TJ out of the play. Coming off a of spawn's going to be Clayster. Is Nero just... Sneaking oh, dude, forward. Clay is like just a in a fuck. Man, oh. He's a He's a slippery oh. snake. Now you're gonna have three on that this might point. do it. TJ off spawn. He gets caught middle alley. Oh, it looks oh. like Attach is able to win that gunfight. Oh, it God, a team kill as well. Oh, and now you're gonna three flood this alleyway. And Gio oh. is above you. Taking out GG. one by time. And that Vegas, is it. Vegas sweep the Carolina Royal Ravens. With another win. Five and two for the Vegas Legion. Yeah, and that's just not. Yeah, close. Carolina. It's, if that was gonna be not a good state, series out of them. Holy like, shit. Not a good series at all. Test, you're if these two teams are close. They are Holy not. shit. Legion have their way with Royal Ravens. I'm going to go piss in the Carolina. One, two, and three. It is just they get ahead. They don't look back. Damn. What first time is I don't I don't really understand that one. A little bit different. We've had different number of the urinal? qualifiers for like Jesus. Listen, if you are the Legion franchise. Uh yeah, not that that series might have been one of the more lopsided ones we've seen throughout the whole the whole year. Yeah. Damn. I mean, that was just fucking That was slamming. 
five wins on the board, improving day by Yeah, taking a look at the scoreboard is bomb at 29 and 16. Hers right behind him 25 and 9. Got Seattle's guaranteed man, losers. They can do it cuz like listen, we uh so you Seattle know, guaranteed the losers United bracket there. Obviously team. Vegas five right, and two. They're gonna be in that so winners like, bracket. Good split from Vegas, man. They they really have turned things around. They're starting to impress. Twenty nine and sixteen from Geo. He's been fucking frying lately. Vegas starting to look like a real threat. To some of these top four teams, maybe maybe not a threat, but definitely teams are gonna have them on the radar for sure. My boy, Field Block with the 50 bomb. I appreciate you, Field. Hey, Field, um, DM me your order number, bro. Appreciate you, my rib. They're saying Clay Tweet. Tweet, Clay Tweet. Going, I'm going, I'm going. Just got shit slammed. I don't know what's up with me. GG's Legion. And this was faster than I expected. I was hoping for a game five, but Vegas didn't give Carolina any. How about Tom and Jerry? Didn't really watch it, buddy. Was there an MVP? I saw great moments from Jerry. Dude, I didn't really watch a lot of like that. I feel like Tom and Jerry, I didn't watch like the morning cartoons. Yeah, I, I used to watch some of them. What I used to watch in the morning? SpongeBob was seven. Bro, SpongeBob was always on before I went to the bus. like seven to. I think it was like seven to, to nine thirty or something like that. Unfortunately for the Carolina Royal Ravens, which should have been a second set of rotation P one into P two, Purge gets a spawn out in Palace, which creates that natural pinch and any hope of Carolina Royal Ravens trying to chain to get back into the game. Raul would attend. Made my girlfriend a CDL guide, so she's not lost at the event. Also told her you're the goat. Hope to bump into you guys in Fort Lauderdale. Yo, thank you, Raul. Yeah, for sure. If you see us, come say what's up. Max and Ruby. A guide so she's not Ruby. lost at the event. That's actually pretty smart. That's great. Was before. That's a great, Ruby like, no, fucking. it was uh, fairly our parents. It was before SpongeBob. Wait, what did you say, Mark? It was fairly our parents before SpongeBob. And then you knew when you SpongeBob. knew when Jimmy Neutron was coming on. Hi, I'm Pow. <laughs> you knew when Jimmy was coming on. Chat, yo. Were you guys watching Cyber Chase and Dragon Tales? Ray Lopez. Now, George Lopez was always on when you woke up in a blender. You wake up at 3 a.m. you hear the theme song. Yep. And then the emergency alert system. Oh, make it think we're done. Yeah. I hated that shit, bro. What is the best tell a team is putting it together? I mean, you could tell a team's putting it together, really, if, if they're streaming and their vibe is just better. Like, you, you, it's really easy to tell when teams just aren't doing well. I mean, some people are better at hiding it than others, but like, you can just tell when teams aren't meshing. It's consistency across the game modes, good vibes in the team. You know, there's there's a lot of telltale signs. My boy Axel with the five. A hey, happy birthday, Feeny. What do we got next? Hope you have a good day, brother man. And a special, Rock special Miami. happy birthday for Money Bows. What's, what's first map? Do we know? Really just winning, too. I mean, just winning in general. Do, you know, do we know the maps in this upcoming series? Rio's high, Rio High Rise Karachi. Vegas versus Miami, like all right here we go fuck yeah we get a Rio map number one that's actually kind of a it's an interesting pick for Miami because Minnesota have been looking like the Rio absolute beasts <laughs> bang that all day yeah could be playing alongside each other come the next stage currently all playing from home with right, let me write this down real quick Riley. please play a clip of the dragon tales theme song could be copyright. Purge, I want to start here asking about Usher, thank you for the 10, bro. We, we got a Purge to interview? Fight. Hell yeah. But out of the gates, you guys went up 100 points in hard point. How did you take control so early? Uh, honestly, we just played our game. We just stuck to the game plan. Honestly, personally, I was a little surprised to see Invasion uh, hard point get through. Yeah. So uh, we took advantage of that, honestly. For sure, Purge, first of all, I want to congratulate you on another win, and also how you have been playing individually is night and day compared to stage number one. I want to ask you, when did it click? When did you start feeling this consistency in your gameplay? 
Uh, I think definitely a major one. I mean, it's no secret I was underperforming. Uh, I think there was a lot of factors into that, but uh, I think, you know, major two came and I was just blessed that, you know, these guys around me gave me another chance, you know what I mean? Despite, you know, all the noise and stuff. Sure. So, you know, I knew I had to lock it in. So, you know, here I am. So he's admitting he was tripe uh, stage Perch, one. You know, you guys have been great throughout the stage, you individually I'm sure as he well. wasn't happy with that. Do you, do you feel like you guys have made a breakthrough <laughs> this week? We've seen some, some big W's and do you think you can contend for a championship at major two, truthfully? Yeah, I mean, that's definitely the goal. I mean, you know, we're working day in, day out. You know, we're working on what we got to do, and uh, we're going hard every day in practice. So uh, that's definitely what we're uh, trying to get to. Purge, everyone's looking forward to the land down in Miami. People wearing shorts for the first time this year in some situations. Chad wants to know about your shoe game. What shoes are going to make it on the trip with you? Because we can see the collection to your right. Hey, Chad, what shoes are we bringing? Uh, honestly... Um, for game day, I got some new Jordan 3s that I'll probably wear, but you know, the go-tos are the, uh, just the white Air Force ones. That's the go-to every time. My yes! Man, this is yes! One of us. Yes! Yeah, I got those. Yeah, right, you can come <laughs> I got first, Fuck first, yes! You can't wait to see it next land. Thank you guys. Have a good one. Remember, he's going down to Miami next week, and you all can follow with us as we are hey, heading Skyler, to thanks for the two. number two. A lot to be excited about, Ali, as we ra recap this first. Can I do that tier list, Riley? takeaway between these two teams. Look out for you got something for me real quick. One what do you got? Us. Hell yeah. Wow. That looks like a big bag as well. Whoever ordered that, if it's just for you, that's a 20 wing. I know a 20 wing, ba 20 wing bag anytime I see it. And they have the hot honey rub back, right? Oh. He's got oh, Call of Duty loading up as well. Hot honey rub. Oh, fuck yeah. For us personally or for the stream? Stream. Again, for us or for the stream? Like, are the gift cards for us so we can get some... Oh, so we get the wing stop. Oh. Oh, and we're doing giveaways. Riley is just not concise sometimes. What is this, Riley? Why did I just see this? Hell yeah. It says, I love the Scump Watch Party. You're goddamn right he does. Dude, how did I just see that, Riley? Good one. <laughs> huh? Who? Who? Yep. <laughs> what do you mean? It's the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> it's the statue. Is he actually there? Yeah, no, a lot of not. people are. Bro, it's the Dallas Stars little, like, St. Paddy's Day shit. Right. Luca did not show up. Right. For my life. <laughs> On whose life? Mine. <laughs> I can't do you like that. <laughs> I can't do you like that. Lying bastard. All right, Tim. Uh, what do we got? Take uh, us away. Justice League. Let's throw it up there. I'm thinking a. an argument for, for S, but I'll put it in A. A. Oh, my gosh. Why be? I'm a mod for the Disabled Gamers subreddit. Some things were said yesterday were a particular device that was created to accommodate disabled gamers. It's shameful those without disabilities abuse those devices and give us all who use it a bad name. I don't know. We asked the chat's opinion on it yesterday. Some said yes, okay. Some said for what? If hold for on, a zip. no. If you have a disability, well, that's that's what chat was saying. It helps to use that. So the it, guy that there is no argument against it. So the guy that originally super chatted said that it helps him because he has hand pain. He yeah. uses a zim. That's totally fine. And people in the chat were saying that's not okay. Well, that's wrong. Those people are fucking idiots. I mean, yeah, if, it's, if it helps you and you need it. Yeah, if you, if, if, if you, at the end of the day, it is a video game and like, you want people to be able to play it comfortably, right? I mean, it, even if you're at a slight disadvantage, like, come on. You know what I'm saying? The only gremlins are those that are using it just to get an advantage. Yeah, yeah like, like those Dylan the, If you have no disability. Those are the gremlins. Like Dylan on It's, uh, yeah, you know, go ahead, Zen. I don't even know a lot of these. Like, I thought Annoying Orange was a YouTube series. Or, like, a YouTube That's channel. That's what I thought. Did they bring that shit to TV? I didn't know it was on, car I didn't know it was on Cartoon Network. See, they're saying, look, they're going. Look, they're, they're saying it's cheating. I mean, if you're playing the game for free. I mean, if they're winning tournaments. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's so many different, like. There's so much gray dude, area. I'm just pubbing around. Dude, I feel like. Dude, how do we not know some of these? Some no, of these I don't know, like, so, any Some of these, these have to be new gen. Okay, let's see. Well, Looney Tunes. Get I loved Looney Tunes. Let's I feel like Looney Tunes. I feel like. Wait, is Tom and Jerry on here? 
No, there's no Tom and Jerry. It would it would went right to the S tier. What about the what about the Road Runner? Meet me. Wait, do we have stats for that series, Riley? By the way. No, don't do it. For the last series. I mean, we still gotta look at the stats. All right, well, let's see the stats. Tier list we can come back to. We have to keep it objective. I'm trying to see the statistics. Hold on, guys. We're getting those stats for you real quick. I, I completely forgot about it until someone brought and it up. And we have intros. Yeah, we'll watch the intros. We'll go through the stats of the last series. Chat, who do you guys have? Rocker or Heretics? I think these two picked Rocker. I pick Heretics. Yeah, I'm picking Rocker. Michael. Oh. I'm just getting started. What happened? Time to turn it up. Just replying to someone. What do you say? This is not to put some respect on Riley's hand. He's way more talented than you'll ever be. So I said, oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah. It's game time, Why do I feel gentlemen. like this is like a National Geographic intro? Bro, bro this, no, no. About to see a fucking I eagle soar across the... No. Th this reminds me of an intro of like some science show that like the TV would wheel on the TV. Thank you, Zen. National Geographic. I God. guess similar. No, but I, I'm... I'm thinking like Bill Nye, though, not National Geographic. I'm thinking of... uh. Uh, what's it called? Fuck, what's it called? We've watched it on the watch party before. Uh, this is not a good series for Carolina. It was a point five for Clay. The only player positive fuck, was Tyler Fellow Johnson. What's it called with all the animals and they're going through the doot, doo doo doo? I know somebody knows it. Doo 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 doo. I know somebody knows it. I don't know. The museum. Yep, see, Nick knows it. He just doesn't know the name, just like me. Not Goosebumps. Oh, not I, Bill I used to love Goosebumps. And the books. No, it's like fucking... Okay, fuck it. I'm, I'm over it. Uh, looking at... Oh, is it anamorphosis? No, it's like... You know what I'm talking about, right? Eyewitness. Yes, eyewitness. Yes. Eyewitness. Uh, taking a look at the stats from the last series. Again, it's just a slaying diff, dude. Look at Geo. 1.68 for Geo. Wow. I mean, it's just... It, it goes to show what the series looked like. It's just not close. I mean, Clay obviously has a stinky... It's just slaying, man. They just had they they really didn't have a chance in, in it was first a bad map series for them. or third map. And it goes to show. What is no? What is it called, bro? I think it, I think it's eyewitness. Yes, here it is. Oh, oh this! Bam, 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 bam. Oh, that brings me right back. Yeah, we you don't remember this? We watched it and I was like, holy shit. I feel like I just heard that in Disney. I could have sworn I heard that theme song in Disney or something. No, I actually think so. Maybe like getting on... There was like a dinosaur ride we went on in Epcot, maybe? What, Jurassic Park? No, it wasn't Jurassic Park, I don't think. Whoa, what the fuck? Gwyn with a crazy tweet. What do you tweet? He said, I don't know how we lose to dog shit. Whatever. GG's Vegas. They're beasts. Ha ha. Lost 3-0 with a laughing face emoji. Jesus Christ. I mean, Gwen is a shooter. I mean, he's a shooter, but... Damn. Dylan McGee tweeted back, This might be the weirdest thing someone has, ev has never accomplished a single thing has ever tweeted. Keep your head up, bud, and fix that dog shit attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. McGee said, fuck that. Damn. 
I mean, yeah, you can't tweet that after. But like you said, it was versus Oh, Carolina, man. They haven't been showing anything throughout this stage. But the way that they got it done, last <laughs> week they were sitting at eighth overall in rotation. Jesus. All right, guys, we got a real so hard that point. point. has to be yeah. the staple to what Miami needs to do, which is stay ahead of those fundamentals. You need a rock and you a vivid and lens masterclass, yeah, whereas back, heretics do like this map quite a bit. They've recently played with the Rio and Subface now again being involved in this particular series matchup but a good start so all right here we go it's kind of what you want to see from the side of miami smg is getting forward finding some good eliminations and with that yeah i don't map think as well. rocker yeah, this wins this map you heard that song on the living with the land at epcot keegan maybe Wait, what was living with the land from this p1 hill and now you're forcing minnesota rocket to now make a couple of decisions do we rotate oh, okay metal, metal, metal shoot yeah i don't think rocker wins this map i mean they Every were really good on it i think we saw them once this has been a rocker yeah, they beat Toronto on it. Was it Toronto? Yes, oh, they did? That's what it was. Yeah, and, and us. Didn't they beat us on it as well? I think so. Yeah, I think they beat us too. And that's four dead for the Rock. When they're playing up against Carolina. Maybe you start to think about their map fluency needs to kind of grow. I mean, yeah, that's kind of rogue of Gwen, though. He's the calling the other team dog shit <laughs> after they just got 3 0 slammed. I mean, that's. It's, that would be, I think, a major He's talking shit even when he's losing. Been kind of stuck in the mud, but rotating over towards P2 Which, Minnesota here first. With a who said that it's easy to talk while you're up? Wasn't it Michael Jordan? Lucky, but help has arrived. Yeah, a, a real shit talker yeah, talks when they're losing. Or Can when it's even or no, Miami, on and top Miami just break right through the front on this P2. They just walk up, say hello. How you doing? Because he was just so damn fast. The rival nine in his hand looks like a shotgun. And he's just consistently always setting pace. And obviously he found a little bit of that why are people saying luca that was luca those smgs starting to luca said that you ever heard in an air boost interview all we needed was one win to start the yeah, michael jordan said oh, that guys what the fuck really able to finish off the last member into lens but lucky right there to find the final bullet so scrap time gonna be fought for by miami a oh dude see from rocker though not giving up on the yeah pull up the clip right yeah they're gonna be late to rotation though especially as medals as able to lock oh, okay medals is shooting eight and three start for him popping two he's enjoying a 30 point cushion and the rotation to p3 yeah they're full map control we were talking about staying ahead of the fundamentals, and that's already three hills in a row where they have done so. And now Minnesota are forced to try to break on in. You have a couple players going through boxes, big one on one gunfight, one right there by accuracy to potentially open up the. And so far, this is a great, great start for Miami. They got P3 control. They stopped the push to the back off rip. This is. They said, they're saying we're done with the 90s. Who's Jordan? Done with the 90s? Nice little transfer over to Awakening who gets shut down outside. Come on, Wake. Last one left is accurate. Show me something here, Joe. He will be dealt with by Lucky. So again, great stuff from Miami. Like you mentioned, good on rotation, but now all of a sudden, adding in some elements of being really, really formidable on their holds as well. Damn, they just they came out and punched Minnesota. Oh, right boom! Out. Great stun check. Like this. It doesn't finish. Like Rio, Ooh, that was a weird gunfight. This is not good for Rocker. They're losing P3 and they're and they're fighting from the sweet. front. This is a big but wave of kills here. They get them. Huge kills for Rocker. That could have got out of pan pretty quick. Where they're going to be the team to win the rotation this time over towards B4. This could potentially be the hill. How long can they hold it for? Yeah. Let's see how they break this. They don't got anybody taking pinch routes. And that's going to shut down the push immediately. Unless Lucky does some crazy oh, shit. Hell no. He's now watching it, but doesn't make much of a difference. The Eagle does get traded just as he tries to enter into the hard point. Oh, they just get peace. Yeah. Break here. This is again Miami so off to a, dark, a hot so start. Dark clean for Miami. And they get that done in a 2v4 scenario. I was lucky yeah. found two through the back end. Vehicle through mid boxes. They put three dead. All it comes down to was the trade. But eventually Minnesota Rocker had the reinforcements. Dude, chat. No way. Into the no way a the quote from Michael Jordan started a debate on medals, whether MJ or Luca is better in the chat. Minnesota has slowly climbed their way There's back no this way, game, guys. You already have awakening off the rotation. <laughs> now LeBron's getting thrown into it. What are we doing, Chad? I know the matches aren't the best today. So once again, Miami find themselves winning rotation. This time a little bit more labored, a little bit more tested, but Awakening can't snap back towards Eric Boom, forcing Linz to have to collect the trade. And with that, Heretics again win the early time here on their final hill. And the crazy thing is that Minnesota, in the beginning of the season, they were one of the best game one teams that we had. They were basically undefeated in game Gwen one. Win responded? Oh, gosh. Today. I'm one on it. Throughout stage two, that means you're starting off these series slow, and they're already yeah. showing that. Because they're currently down by 60 points. You have to try to turn it around and turn it around <laughs> Hold quick. Hold on. 
And a couple Hell kills going no. in their favor. Trash, it's going to lead to some much needed time at this P5. You're cutting out all the proper angles. All of Miami trying to attack. He said, haven't accomplished man. nothing. That's Eventually a fact. Equal, LMFAO doesn't change through, the fact I'm the best player in the lobby and feel like we shouldn't be losing. I don't give a fuck if it hurt their feelings. We suck right now. Proud of them. Damn. I mean, Gwen's got confidence. And with that, give that. Minnesota, Wood crashing out. Scrap, so back over towards P1, and you look over <laughs> what does that mean? Sure, crashing out? Yeah, it means like he's losing it. He's like. losing. He's losing his mind. Go haywire and just lose it all. Kind of crashing right out. He's going to end up behind bars. Is that what that means? What the hell? Not end up behind bars. It just means like you lost your mind. Like you're like, like you're fucking up. Like, like you're about to do something rogue. Yeah, end up behind bars. Crashing out. If he can start to turn it around, that what that means? Right end up behind bars? Game, but it's still a 50-point game. All out mix fast it towards go. top mid. Lenz finds two with the third. All you need is a trade right, Boom, does he find the second? God, he does. He somehow is able to walk away with two. Now the reinforcements are here. Awakening well, trying to finesse a little while longer, so... And it's a bang out, though. This is a, this is a very fast-paced map number one. ...favor to break in for what is the vast majority of this time here on P1. And keep in mind, so you have to look at your mini-map. You've already got Eric Boom on rotation. Yeah, He's look at number four. Number four, he, him, he so slips through. He's just kind of winning the war on both fronts. And that's enough for Eric to get in towards gate. Linz trying to find the kill in towards middle. Finally collects it. But there are a couple of Miami members nearby. That oh, some big kills. Let's see if this guy can play spoiler. No, Who's Eric Boom? Oh, no. They, they find him the next one. It's a big, big hill for Minnesota, for Minnesota yeah, here. This is a must win hill. Could get their way back in. Rocker, currently down by 60. Let's step aside and listen to the comps and see how they can try to bring this back. I'm running box. I'm trying to box the box. Boxes, 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 boxes. 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 Boxes, boxes, Back to 10, 10, 10, 10. 10 medals, 10 medals, one shot. Push up front, push up front. Mid, 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 mid. I'm in the middle, 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 I'm in Nice, nice, nice. Back, 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 Wow, I mean, we're in an absolute... Sounds kind of hectic like in those comms, but Rio, I feel like it kind of has to be with how fast the, the pace of the map is. So much shit's going on, and Eric Boom, dude, he keeps popping big two pieces off of rotations. But Minnesota into the P4 first. And that should be the start to a good hold for Miami. I mean, yeah, this is a must break. Otherwise, I mean, it's probably over the way. They can pretty, get pretty damn close to even winning the game here if they can hold this down for the rest of the 40. I, they're just swarming. It just feels like at any of a moment in time, it feels like someone's hitting a pitch. And they're just hitting front. Like I, like the, I, mean, I guess they have no the choice, but... Over the place. And let's be candid, there are a couple of key one and that's Ford Ed. It's a big 2-5 on the board. Really Rocker have to hit this. Their success on rotation. So this scrap time looks pretty darn clean. Minnesota just kind of looking at it from afar. And they're they're just getting freebies on this. Here. Every yeah, single player on Miami's left, positive. You have to give this up. You have to MN might be getting dethroned HP from here on out. as the Rio champs. The thing that's really been catching them off guard is like you said. Hasn't like MN, I think they've lost this map the before though. Yeah, they have. I believe they have. Yeah, they're, they're, they're too they lost it. They beat us in Toronto. And then who the fuck did they lose to? You have to make all these kills count. I don't remember. Who did, who did Minnesota lose real hard point to? Yeah, this is all about if Vico can find.
in the 1v1 with yeah, the they beat us in Toronto on now you have an Big Joe's in a blender. Two players in the front, Beagle from behind. He's also on five in a row. Not that I think he big, big, big Joe's in a blender. Broken, he's only neg seven. Who knows? Yeah, but he's getting spawn killed and shit. Oh. Holding on he's strong. in a blender. Dividend lens. Accuracy stepping in. Okay, well, 28 seconds on the fight for here. And Minnesota what? have the reinforcements oh. established to try to soak up the need him to pick it up. Want my boy to pick it up. Okay, now I get it. You lost me. Want my boy to turn it up a notch. You need them to win this P1 for him to get a cruise. You need Joe to be getting those kills. He needs to get a cruise right now. It was against FaZe? Okay. That makes sense. So MN lost this map to FaZe. That's it. And it's done. Yeah, Metals with a big time map. Plus 7. 28 and 21 out of him. Miami. Get map number 1. That's a bit of a shock to me. Okay, Miami. shock. Pull up that Gwyn tweet so everyone can see it. He's standing on business. Kind of roasting his teammates in the, in, in, in the frenzy. We're about to be up 2-0 in Halo in our winner's quarterfinal match. W. To get that Hell yeah. To show in their gameplay. You see it smiles all across the board for Miami. Oh, he deleted the tweet. Mm. He deleted it? That's not Appreciate standing you. on business. Attach, attach tweeted about the smoke. To be fair, his teammates would probably call him a douchebag. Chat, will we say that that is standing on business or not standing on business? Taking a look at the scoreboard. Everybody negative on Minnesota. Everybody positive on Miami except Eric Boom. But I saw Eric Boom making a lot of influential two pieces off of those rotations. Team win there, plus seven for Metals and Bickle, both 28 and 21. Chat, would you say that he sat on business at that point because he stopped, because he deleted it? His teammates probably thought he was a, a, a douche. You think so? Yeah. At least I'm the best player in the lobby. We're losing a dog shit. We suck right now. May have fucked up, bud. GG's. What are you going to do? Yeah, here it is, guys. He's young, man. He's letting out his emotions. I see if all that trash talking starts when it's 0 0 instead of 5 6 point lead. That's where it starts. That's the sign of a good man. If you can talk shit when it's even score or talk shit when you're behind score, when you're ahead, it's easy to talk. See? Chat, see? I feel like the fucking man, dude. The guy who used to walk in a building, just we know the team arm is swinging. Like oh, 100 <laughs> percent. I don't know why, but the video, the I die laughing every time people record him, like trying to get pictures with him. He just ignores him and shit. Oh, yeah, like now? <laughs> he's like, yeah, oh yeah, now he still does it. Yeah, like Doctor Disrespect. Like, oh, we're about to see Lamelo Ball. Oh shit, it's Michael Jordan. And then he's like, hey, watch that car behind you. Come on. Like get fetching him out the way. <laughs> Wait, who? Michael? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> bro, you Can we get a pick? Not right now. <laughs> yeah? yeah? Mike's crazy. You didn't give bro. a fuck? He don't give a shit. I know someone in the chat seen that video before. Wow. Can we get a pick? He said, not right now. He's like, we're about to see Lamelo Ball. Oh, shit, it's Michael Jordan. They watch that car behind you. I mean, that's a great comeback out of the gentleman right there. That's a 247, if my math is correct. Yeah. Point swing. That's great. 248. Yeah, the parking garage over here. You never seen Dr. Disrespect when he'd go to like one of the conventions? He wouldn't people, take would, people would come up to him and be like, not right now, pal. <laughs> he'd keep walking all day. Dude, really? dude, he had his little bodyguard. He had like, the guy was like 5'6". I don't know who he is, but compared to Dr. Disrespect, he was like 6'9". Yeah, yeah. And his security guard was like, that's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, he, the security guard would be like, no, not right now. Oh, dude. I can't believe you didn't see that. I think I think that never mind. I think from the defensive side, you kind of maybe take the focus, you put the spotlight there, and you say starts with first bloods and then it finishes. What's next map? Hold on, I have it on my on my notepad. We've got high rise search and destroy. Okay, we're seeing high rise search and destroy two times. 
forces one -on -one gunfight. Guys, like nobody's watching the Luca clip. MJ and said it first. He's ready to contest and ready to trade those fights because we know how fast <laughs> like high rise can go down, especially early in these rounds <laughs> where no team has any trophy systems to work with. Oh, yeah, underground is going to be the playground for a lot of these players. So expect the battle. Between Chat is going feral for this fucking Luca clip. That underground red story to be that battle for the first blood. <laughs> Both teams are still in a position to try to fight for a little bit of winner's bracket action as well. You can see the Monster Energy pregame coming through. First and foremost, both teams need to find a way to win. That, yeah. That's going to be, you know, the first check that you have to find a way to mark off. But after that, it's going to come down to a lot of help from the other teams that are playing today. <clears throat> a little bit of assistance was earned right, right here. Right, 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 that kind of takes that too. This could be situation. a quick day if Rocker don't pick it up at the map one. In the upper bracket. I feel like so this is going to be a series. I don't think they're just going to roll over. squads find a way to win. And for Minnesota, more in particular, it's all about finding a way to maybe be a little oh. more successful on the offense. You saw their ranks were about 12th across the league in almost every category. Yeah, you got to figure Lamar, it out. And creeping it might up. be the caliber, the caterpillar crawl up to the side back of this propane tank. His accuracy is just trying to find this timing for the first blood, and he might have wow. himself Good in a pick by Lamar. I thought Metals was going to oh. snap on his shit. The Are you going to read Linz? Delayed hit, though, from Linz over towards the opposite side of the map. Eric Boom is the only defensive player over on this A site, but oh, look at Zickle, kind of like an absolute herb. No, he didn't there read it. For a moment. Eric looking for the trade, decent shots, but no kills. And with that, Minnesota now hold the numbers and the oh, there it goes. <laughs> over toward the B Peace. site, and the propane tank blows up right at the end. So that's a clean finish there for Minnesota on their first offense. Yeah, they had the numbers. They had Dude, the that propane, propane tank is favor. undefeated. And they also find the it first. It kills it from a mile away too. It's fucked. Yep. Already keeping the numbers that we talked about before this map, 100%. As Minnesota get the first blood, they walk away with the attacking round. Now Miami forced to respond on their attacking side. And I don't know if anyone was able to develop a couple kills in that round to get those trophy system down towards B Street. So sure, yeah. it might be another slow and steady round for Miami here on the attack. See what the focus is going to be coming out of spawn. Bomb will be voluntarily left. Gwen tweeted again. This initial push over towards Gwen is on... Else. From, what do you say? On demon time, on the takes care of accuracy, difficult shots from Eric, but does tag up. He is addressing the, the deletion ground, of the tweets so now. Let me take a look. Gwen is on demon mode. Minnesota will no longer have the ability to scout across the map. And now you already have a lot of irresponsible tweet, but it is what it is. Got mad after a loss, just want to win with everything in my soul. Ready for land next week, brother. Regain. It's just to try to find a time to work that bomb play. There's so many different angles you can check from if you are Miami. 3v3. Linz eventually is able to take down Vico, even up the numbers at 3v3 now. Yeah, and they know Awakening's playing on the other side, top elevator. Both teams flip the map. It's just, he's such in a hard position to fight back from. And maybe Eric right there gets the information that he's... It's like a Venn diagram in the so middle of the map is the Awakening's center. Awakening's actually going to isolate. Yeah, All he's right. gone forward. They find Kinda a way to isolate smart. the metals, but Lucky 2v2. responds. Big 1v1 here. That Lucky needs to find finds a, a two-piece somehow. The Bottom blue. Everything gets reset. 1v1 between Lucky and Vivid. 25 seconds left. It's Lucky versus Reese Vivid. able to recover that bomb, but... Last information that you knew, Vivid was in his spawn. He's now all, already finds himself behind enemy lines, so he's going to be able to work this bomb plant down at A for free, but Vivid might catch the timing here. How does Lucky try to set himself up post this plant? Oh, he's still worried about the defense. Good shot in the back. Reese Vivid, Vivid finds the hey, diamond. Doing? No worries there. Minnesota off to okay, I will see a start here, but What's a Miami's record on this? To, Miami uh, on this map are 0 and 1. Yeah, 2 and 0 for Minnesota. So probably Minnesota's pick here. Middle, Looking he good so far. Positioning to from top propane. Jumps right through that B bomb site. Is able to find a kill and then find a second as well. Then once you turn it into a 1v1, Lucky, he gets the bomb down for free, but he's still thinking that Vivid is in his spawn. But unfortunately, he hit the ring around the rosy, all the way up to that B street, and was able to find a freebie for Minnesota to not win two in a row. Riley, do you know, we'll probably, one, we way, might be able to catch conversion uh, Halo's team, winner semi if these matches go at a decent corner. rate. Because they're playing right now. They're going to have a match wait, and then they'll probably play again. Nothing landed, you know what I'm saying? From Vivid's perspective. We might be able to catch Eagle that playing shit. A little bit deep. Eric Boom a little bit further forward here. Double stack defense over on A, which means that this B site is wide open, and Miami's going to have to play retake Quick B here. control for yeah, Minnesota. Vivid already got all the info he needed to get. Freebie. Unfortunately, his teammate in Awakening does Reese get first blood, but he's instantly there to respond. Stump now, three equals three Luka hater? No, nah, dude. I fucking I actually love Luka. There. Force your SMG to try to put this MJ just said it first. Again in a man advantage. Yeah, I think he may have heard shots from Lucky initially and thought maybe I had okay. some timing to push through, but not the case Heretics at all. Miami collapsed on the over the top of the B site. So not officially a retake since the bomb didn't get planted, but 
let's call spade a spade they essentially had to re-grab the site and they do it very cleanly so good awareness there off that mid setup and that just shows you right there that Linz is one hell of a teammate because if one of his teammates are getting shot at he's gonna put himself in a position to at least assist them but unfortunately that's a gunfight he didn't want to Okay, watch the clip. The I mean, I kind of just street. don't want to watch the clip because the chat was so demanding on watching the clip with the numbers. when so MJ said it first. The B -side. And I was talking about MJ, now but now people are trying to spin it so and say that we were talking about Luca, like but we weren't. So it makes me hesitant to watch Don't need to be sweating in S&D. That was the case with his other two teammates that played with him a lot of the year last year challengers. It was the same thing. I mean, you look at Lucky and Search. I'd be better all day. He's maybe the tippy top of accuracy D, but no chance to challenge that. Bomb making its way over. Stun just kind of a similar strat you corner. see out of Miami. They just jump and into B bomb. Tries to reinforce, but denied accuracy, taking a very advanced angle over the top of this B site at range, and no confidence to plan as of yet. But Eric's still gonna try to like the stream. Him. Thank right. you, Tiff. I, I was I was just waiting for him because you gained all yeah. that info about ten seconds into the round, and no one was gonna be in towards the B site. But now you allow Minnesota Rocker to know where the pressure's coming in from. Three v three trades are plenty. Wow. Remy box plenty. Great communication from them, Minnesota. Three v two. David's got to play Overwatch here on top of Elo. <laughs> Accuracy needs to start making a play forward just to try to assist at all and try to get this bomb defused. Oh my god, Lucky. Dude, I swear Ooh. Lucky's been oh, finding so many kills and playing his life. Not just this map, last map as well. Sure this just and stopped. Reese Vivid Lucky says, says fuck it. Check it. But he's near Lucky, him. Wait a second. up the ladder. Peekaboo. Oh. Yes, he does get the kill just in the nick of time. Accuracy now for the 1v1. He's going to immediately have to hop it. Lucky, two in a row. Damn, two in a row for Heretics. Good place. Row from the ladder side, no, this time it's a little bit safer, a little bit easier. And Miami respond with the back to back round. <clears throat> oh, that's good stuff right there from Miami. I was Lavish. gonna get on it's him a good, little baby. bit, but just waiting so damn long to put that bomb down. But once they get it down, they put themselves in the proper setup. Lucky <laughs> through underground is able to find the final couple of kills, and he does find three on a on, in the round. So he uh, potentially earned himself is a that true? early on into the search and destroy. And yeah. I just think, like, if you're Minnesota in that situation, you know exactly where the players Actually, coming in yeah. from. We just have to be a little bit faster on How that retake because you allow Miami <laughs> to get that bomb down, maneuver their way out of the site. Not for that reason, but I saw I saw a tweet about it, so I went to look myself, and it was true. To instantly sick that defuse, and unfortunately, Lucky catches them off guard. Uh, he has that round on a five streak, one off her in the neck cruise. I did too. Oh, well, aggressive in towards this B defense has helped Lucky over towards the elevator alley. That's fucking. Eric has to play a little bit more passively over at A accuracy. Saw him watch him the entire way. Now the only defender over towards the ace. That's would be fucking medals. good, wow, man. That's a hell of a set of shots. Takes care of Lynn. Accuracy top helo. Wow, how is Lucky still alive? I don't know. Thankfully, the propane tank Holy kept him alive shit. a little bit longer. Accuracy cannot commit to his that wall bang, but he sets up his teammate in vivid and shut down Lucky. No cruise missile is going to be earned. Minnesota Rocker now in the Lucky finally out of the round. They're probably no breath of fresh air, but Metals finds one who evens it up. Right, folks, two v two. That stalls out Minnesota pretty considerably. Oh, yeah. You have to make sure he's not still over at Green, and Metals is gone. He's out of there. But this is going to take time to clear. Awakening's just kind of watching over right the top Vivid? of the map from topside elevator, and he's not going to be able to see anything. So this is going to be a blind commit for Minnesota towards B. Dude, you know they're Here's on the, the street. Here's the hop for the plant. Metal's rotating so back over. Awakening playing inside All elevator. Right, two. On the exit. Mm, not not going to get caught. Not fully caught, but there's information there. But unfortunately, Vika will drop. Oh. Metal's to the 1v2. And he this should doesn't be look very here. good. Vivid off the regen's going to play top propane. Awakening down low. And, well, Jay, this would oh be Oh, my God. Reese just fucking is in la la. Hold the phone. Oh, hell Awakening no. Awakening repositions here. I love Metals this play from Wake Up. That was a good. But gets out of the elevator. He's nowhere to be found. He's reset down the lane with an AR. Whoa! Whoa! That gets hairy. Oh, I mean, I like the shot when you have that one shot. You just gotta clean it up a little. It's a clutch up to that. Oh, what happened to you too? Well, I was fucking around. Give him that free peek, but good play out of Awakening to read the setup. At least early on in two v two, he finds. I tried to jump back up. No. Ring around the rosy. I mean, if, if that heady was a thing, it probably be godlike. That, that was the map I had for the AR. He hits the early couple of shots, so he has one shot. Pulls out the ready to close out the round. Minnesota rocker. Dude, it's like a water slide. Finally you gotta be careful on that shit. You try to jump on it, just fucking. Now. It looked like it. And it's a water slide. Info early on when they're just sending everybody through underground, jumping on to the site. Well, call two you quick kills for Miami. Three Miami, for Rocker. Oh, ooh, okay. Nice shot from Race. 
It is a heavy stack over towards Atta this B side. All in all, it does end in a 2v2 situation, though. It's still plenty of time in the clock. The only issue is Minnesota have a lot of elevated positions to where they will get the intel once it eventually crosses their path. 3-0 win for Optic Halo. W's. Hell yeah. Vivid, but he does commit to that gunfight. He loses Love that. Now Again, I mean, Halo, dude. One. Halo, you just know. Very like, boom. until Versus it gets... Uh, Halo's kind of like COD right now. Yeah, but it's always been that way. Where it's like... Try to back on up there's like the four contenders, and then everyone else is... Just getting slammed. Eric Boom versus Ice, man. 35 seconds on the clock. Here comes the cross. Oh, the catches the timing. From accuracy. Okay. The Ice Man. Not much you can do right there. I mean, it really is just down to do you find yourself in a good position with the rival nine to take the 1v1 and accuracy. Pretty much made sure the entire way through that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, it's just Minnesota took so much round after it turned yeah, into a yeah. 2v2. You had top. Wait, who does Optic Halo play them. next? It's got to be like one of the one small, of the big so. ones. You had all oh, it's the map phase control. next. You know, it's only a matter of moments for Eric. Ooh. Damn. He walks out of the base. You have to check so many different Is that, angles. There's one more match than that match. I fucking hope so. Probably I hope we get to catch that. He's gonna be in the back of his spawn, but I really want to watch that one. Check the I mean, and accuracy clutches up. All right, let me just lay out a scenario. Do we watch a nice Thieves versus Ultra? Or Toronto's up. Phase. Toronto's up 2-0 or something. And Optic phase Halo's about to start. Do we jump ship and just fucking send it over there? A lot of the names have been fired I don't know. off early. Late trophy placed by Miami I mean, defensively deep towards listen, this lane. I'd be down to watch the that top, match. Just making sure Vivid stays safe. He's hopping in for the plant. Quick play here know. for Minnesota. Miami going to have to have a, some sort of a gut check reaction call. And uh, there's a trophy down to keep them safe. This is going to be a tough time. Oh, God. It's an overwhelming yes. It's man. an overwhelming yes. yes. <laughs> check all these corners, but at least you take wow. care of the bomb carrier. So now in the 4v3. Oh, it's in it fact not even close. <laughs> Great read out of Lucky to catch accuracy. Now someone just stick the, be the fuse. All but Linz hops in. Okay, hold on. Oh, my God. A 2v4 for Rocker. The I think they're going to do it. Hold on a second. This isn't done yet. Linz clutches these. Out, but Linz is still in a position to where he may just hop this. Smoke comes through first, and he's got mind games in play. Over the oh. top. First oh. Through, I love right that attempt. Almost a 2v4 sure from up. MN. Still, this Maybe game is pesky. 3-4. Miami's not enough going enough away. Miami to find the defuse and put this back to within one. Yeah, Miami found the first Haven't blood, seen a no. Yeah, I didn't either. I didn't see a single no. On the we'll see. We'll play it by ear. We'll play it by ear. To make that round even count. <laughs> Winners of bracket semifinals optic first phase. A double chow. Not really worried about the smoke grenade. Yeah, that's a big, that's a big time one. Big time, big Lins. time. Miami read it perfectly. Big now time. down 4-3. Can they flip the script here, though? Fully. It's time really to jump ship, boys. Success, even in the bomb planted offensively. We, we talked about Minnesota. Great with their retakes, in particular on Thank this you for map. the five stack. But at the same rate, they also let the bomb drop in and get planted. All right, 3-4. So Lucky already on 11 kills, seven rounds into the game. The guy's frying. Find a way to get this thing fully back to level terms. They're going to have to do it eventually. Can he keep what's, it up, though? What's the search record? Back over for kills? 15? Yeah. Yeah. I back. think it's 16. Also alerted that this play is on the way. 17? I forget what it is. shots to push metal off his ankle. Yeah, and this year. He's going to back on up. Wait for his teammates to try to assist them, but isn't it Nero with like 17? If you are Miami, because if you can jump up through the underground, potentially find this kill for free, on the Nero tied at 15. That could be just enough to work this bomb plan as Metals is going to try to clear it out. Yeah. Oh, your favorite wing stop? They ask you, but the read it mine's the uh, hot honey rub. Instantly, they had a response, puts his team in the advantage again. Yeah, man. I, I, See, this is the third tough time jump to make. Even Reese missed it. Same setup defensively for Minnesota. This time, Linza steps into the site, though. But you've got nice, accuracy nice. kind of on top of Thank boxes you. inside his defensive windows. He can watch any... He just is just watching that ladder push. My allergy kicking my balls. Can they 2v3 here? Crucial round. This will be a so hard 5-3. It's difficult for Miami to break through this setup with having no break through this setup with having no pressure at all. But somehow, some way, Lucky is able to walk right up through the middle. Hell, Riley, why'd you send him flying? Find that kill onto Vivid, and now with only 15 seconds left, you have to commit yeah. towards his bomb plant at B. So it all oh my God! Into the hands of oh Lucky. my God! Oh Lucky my again God. finds a crazy two. He might break the record. Right through the middle, finds For this year, onto Vivid, dude, he's just finding two pieces left and right. God damn! Spawn. Oh my God! He's gonna break it. He's already got 14. And then the snap onto it's 4-4. Four, four. This guy's taking over. Yeah, he's gonna man. break it. Is this 14 yeah. already? 15, like, 15 ties it, I think. 14 and five? Is that what I saw? The CDL Jesus. era in general, it's 18 it, kills in MW2 the from like Hydra. Like, All time is 20 from Krim. I didn't. The defense. Actually, it was a 2v3, wasn't it? Vivid I thought Krim got 20. And then you've got double <laughs> crossfire setups from ARs deep in towards mid, and they still push. I think I just watched that video, too. Any advice on what you do to lock in? I felt lost lately in rank. Dude, you're asking the wrong guy. If you've watched our rank streams the past couple days, 
dude, there's been and no luck. Get dropped early by Vico. <laughs> sold defender over at A, so now all of a sudden Minnesota has Get some food, get some caffeine. Yeah, the that's that's really, and, and then you just gotta focus up. I don't know. It's gonna put himself but in our, a we've been very fucking good situation. Horrible about potentially it. at least walk away with one guaranteed round. Awakening throwing a couple shoulders. Vico's finds his second this time on. Oh, Crim and Dash, you both got 20. Oh my Everyone gosh, this will be three in a row as well. If Unless it's a 4 1. Oh no. That's a flawless. Okay, well, if Rock can lose this map, I think the series is over. He finds three in a round. They go down 2 0, I think it's going to be a swift. A tailor. The trends have completely been absolutely flipped on its head i mean flat out i was about to say like this minnesota defensive setup when they're playing through mid like this has been super successful for them offensively they're also finding good value in the early 4v4s 4v3s but now all of a sudden miami has completely changed the tone said i don't care what your setup is i'm gonna break right through that quick round to follow up immediately afterwards has to have minnesota second guessing and i don't know what you run here i mean defensively what do you call where is the schedule? I think you just do the same thing that you did before. Have Agassi call it on that cross, but get your SMGs in positions where oh, they can no. find success. Oh, no. Unfortunately, the oh, hell no. Is Vivid just team killed Awakening with propane. So did he? Yep. Oh, Miami no. Riley, could you and find the, uh, the schedule for us? No. no. Uh, okay, at least Reese gets one here. I want to see oh, a 5-5 five, five here. And, and Trump be Lucky's no POV. Where's Lucky at? Attempt that. Grips him. Shots from Vico across and he's map. playing his he life well. He's got to get pinched. He gets the info. Oh, what a play from Vico. Oh. Should be an insta trade, though. Cruise oh. missile. Does he call Record it? Tied. Cruise missile get earned. Linz has to track all the way back through underground to his spawn. And look at Miami. Lucky's already positioned forward just to make sure. He's Linz streaking for info. Call. Yeah, his boy's watching his back, too. It's a good play. Get the info. Oh, he's dead. Oh, Lucky's not going to break the record. He ties it. What do you get? 15? 15. Just gonna send it Damn, 2-0 Miami. I think Rocker let that on one slip. They were up, what, 4-2? Yeah, 4-2. Four, they lost four, four straight. Damn. Damn. Rocker is in trouble now. That question was for methods. I know that you're always locked. How do you lock in and rank? I mean, I think what you said. Stuff, man. Eat some food. Caffeinate if you're feeling kind of lethargic. I mean, 15 and 4 from Lucky. Goes without them. saying. MVP performance there from the kid. And Minnesota now finds themselves down 2 to 0. And I believe a loss here puts MN at 1 and 6, right? This is their last match of the split. Whoa. Yeah, this is their last match of the split. They'll be one and six, and that is a definite loser's bracket start. So, Rocker, I Rocker, just struggling. I mean, they haven't been able to find their footing after a good major. They just struggling, man. It's weird. And now Miami are riding a bit of a high. They won their last match. Now they're up 2 0. They win this. They're most likely in winner's bracket. So, I mean, potentially uh, Miami turning it around. Like that's a round that if you're Minnesota, you can't let get away. Because then you put that at game point. Instead, it goes four v four. Do you think Optic versus Phase is the best rivalry in esports? Well, it's a dominant map number one for Miami. I'll let the chat answer that. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of rivalries. I'm sure it's a pretty person to person. I don't, I don't know if it's the best. It's definitely it's definitely a good one. We're a little biased. All of esports, though, that's there's a lot of a lot of good rivalries. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. Giveaway time? Uh -oh. it's giveaway time. Giveaway time. So again, I just want to re reiterate this really quick before the giveaway. Miami, with a win today, they're in. Rocker, with a win, they're in as well. So this series is very important. With a loss, I believe either of these teams are, are out. Uh, doesn't say for sure on, on the card, but I'm assuming one and six is not getting it done. So this is big, man. Miami in the driver's seat to potentially get themselves into the winner's bracket after a very bad start to the split. I believe they started 0-5. This will be two wins back-to-back -to, -back to get themselves in the winner's bracket. So I can't believe two wins even gets you in, honestly. But here we are. But giveaway time. Guys, optic in the chat for your chance to win.
Razer Hammerhead Hyperspeeds for the Xbox. Code word optic. Code word optic, everybody. You got to be in it to win it. Appreciate you guys tuned in. Don't go anywhere today because after the CDL, we're going live on Twitch for an optic Halo watch party just like yesterday. Not, not guaranteed. Not guaranteed. Sorry. We might jump ship, though. Depending on what it's looking like. All right. I take it back. We might be going live on Twitch after. Well, I long. told them earlier that we were going live if we were still playing. That's fair. But right now, it looks like we'll be good. And we might jump. I mean, Optic vs. Phase and Halo, like, we might jump ship. I'm not going. I'm okay to jump ship. Depending on how everything The only going. thing I would lose full about is if, like, Thieves somehow upset Ultra. Yeah, that'd be crazy. missed it, that would suck. That'd be crazy. But I feel like Optic Phase and a winner's semis is like... I feel like it's a warranted jumping of shit. I could agree with that. Mark's huge. Uh, Mr. Salt said, with a five, is it better to sub on YouTube or Twitch? It's really up to you. Twitch is the main platform. We're only on here for the watch party, so... It's really up to you, man. Yeah, man. And we've got maps and modes. We got a Rio hardpoint. Okay, so we need, respectfully, we need a technical delay in this next Halo main stage match because Optic Halo is on after this next main stage match. Rio, High Rise, Karachi, Sub Base Invasion. All right, a little, little map variety there. Love to see that. Gump was a uh, Dolphins, Dolphins fan before Eagles fan. Kuchiba. <laughs> He didn't even look at me. I don't know what's gotten into him recently. Hmm? I said Uchi, but you didn't even react. Usually you'd be... Because I know you're not down. What? You're just like a Wait, once every is... few weeks kind of guy. I'm an every night kind of guy. Is... is every is, night type of guy? Is said that we should go to dinner tonight. I'm just throwing that out there. I forgot to tell you. I'm not down tonight. Huh? I'm not down tonight. Don't give a fuck. Just throwing it out there. You can go to dinner with your fiance. Don't care. I'm going to go home and make my Hello Fresh. Yeah. Guys, code word optic. We got a giveaway going on. You're weird for that. Weird for that. Nope. Weird for that. I would have. Weird. You're paying. I'm in. Weird. Weird behavior. All good. Interesting series, though. Toronto versus Thieves. I mean, we've seen Rio high rise a lot today. It's 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 a map that I wouldn't be shocked to see, like thieves like turn up a little bit. Every second map today has been high rise. Every map too has been high rise today. A little bit of an interesting. I actually, I actually like watching high rise search. I do as well. It's one of my one of comparatively my comparatively to some of the other maps. My least favorite search to watch is invasion, just because it's such a slow. Thanks, bro. It's, invasion, there's only so much you can do. It's I, like, yeah. There is no there is no variety. Like, at least on high rise, you can see people jump on the side of the map and, like, hit lanes. Invasion is so straight up. The only play that we've seen recently is Kyler hitting out Cafe and getting in Mad Ken early and getting a two-piece. That was, like, the highlight of Invasion Search. And on the, that was great the off chance, we see, like, a, a clutch on B. Hey, good luck, folks. Thank you for joining us Who's here. Who's winning that? Who's winning that giveaway? The winner Kevin. is... Kevin. That boy. That boy. Congratulations, that boy. Is it that boy or that boa? That boa. Boy. Are we going to get a better days ahead giveaway on here? Yeah, whatever. Whatever BDA is live for the weekend, we usually do giveaways on here, but it's not live for a bit. I'll tell you what is. I'll tell you what is live. Shop BTH.com. Our boy Optic Maniac's got a drop going on. Check it out. Yeah, check that shit out, man. Nick. Uh, Nick's been playing hard to get with us. We have. We apparently have, he was chatting earlier. People were coming into my chat saying he wants to come on the watch party. He knows that he's more than welcome to come on whenever he wants. Um, but I think he was crybaby cheesing earlier. I, was, I already tried to give him the game, man. Shop at BTH.com to support Maniac, and also there's an Optic Halo collab. I try to give him the game. Optic collab with the HCS.
They will be starting off on the offense. The other thing to keep in mind here, Jay, about both these two All right, teams here we go. Karachi. Sides, so both offensive and defensive, yeah, they're boy. great at either finding Yo, congrats, success. Congrats uh, on, on the, the on the defense. giveaway win, though, my man. Thank you for thank you for uh, stopping by. Thanks for joining us. So this very well Much love to you guys. Let me see what happened to Will coming back. Oh, he, he tried so to find Park, and he hasn't been back since. are playing, how fast the ARs are playing. They're going to be able to set that tone early on into this control. They find the first couple of kills around the middle of the map. The second second progression is about to get called in. You already see their setup. No one's trying to edge on now. Minnesota Rocker, they're more of more in their setup trying I mean, to play Miami just and with those two kills, gonna get clean, gonna but momentum now completely on their side after in four a, rounds in a row. Of Miami. Hit that Did that, that bathroom break do anything oh, for Minnesota? Oh, Metals is still opens up space on this overextension through Look. the backside at a metals actually may go a little bit further beyond that he wants to clear out top fire well positioned here for metals on four in a row a wise man and once said don't get to make sure no one's skippity ray alert and okay metals on a five them, five and oh new nope, potential start. question and mark he's picking up where he left off on the rio get this guy a sub and he just goes crazy yeah this is what he does He's going to be able to find those timings with the smg i wish we'd see like a nuke in the cdl one day to sprint up freely up through that'd that be so insane but now he's just trying to get a, a nuke in the CDL? That'd, That'd be so missile. crazy. He finds it. Yes, he finds I mean, if, if somebody a nukes the CDL, so like... You already were able to extend that time. I feel like the only map it could happen on is like high rise. Points, so no. Yeah, Eric Boom be yeah. bugging. I don't think it's what? possible. You like if, you, if, if, if on both defenses, you get up top on their building and just spawn trap from above while your teammates are peppering them. I genuinely do not think it's possible. Please, Seriously, train, I don't think do this. No Nowadays, I don't think <laughs> Finally, Vehicle gets the kill, but boy, that was expensive. Essentially a three for one. Metals does get sure his crews, and Eric Boom just joined the agency. Position. So, even though it's a great start for Miami, Minnesota holding four life advantage, and we're down to 70 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, but at least now, if you are Miami, you have some. You want to know what I am down control, for tonight? But for how long? Because there's a couple players from Minnesota. Doing two. I don't know from. who you're talking you to. Because you, 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 you already did. Him you already did the damage. That's already what? Been a minute wiped off of the game. You and fiance want to get dinner at the jump oh yeah let's go Miami even farther pushed up close to that beat no is the defense right from now for Boston Minnesota too strong she's going with yeah, her absolutely the case oh, oh. that's what I was saying I'm around the back, Eric Boom. oh the okay the spawn. Uh, is was saying to you that we should get dinner tonight yeah well. she, she was enticing us to get dinner screen. correct Ah, oh, I see now. Kind of working his life a little while we could also go to you dinner know, with that. I'm exclusive. It's still so far forward that it really doesn't hard, make a difference. Hard to get to a room with me. Here or not. He's got to come help. Weird fuck. Yeah, this is their last push too because you see those swans Weird from Miami. Okay. Everyone over towards the chicken coop, so they're forced to overextend. 15 seconds left. Get past awakening. Who was the player who just came off the respawn? Minnesota. You find that first. Oh my God, they might not win this round. Hold on, here comes the collapse. Opportunity for Miami to try to get in. They got five seconds to do so. You got to go. Is it me? Accuracy on the cross, only able to take down. One lens telling information as he steps in as the Never last mind. defender, but Metals keeps his life. Health assistance nearby, but does eventually get traded away. Eric Boom now, the last one left. It would have to be a 1v essentially three. He's getting challenged. And that's the round. Sides. Minnesota, Minnesota finally getting an advantage. Yep. What's up, Six Dan? life gap at the end and really no progress. I was going to say Karachi's become weird, but yeah, I still enjoy watching Karachi control. Right from Minnesota. The beginning of the year, they were it just, I feel like it's the same thing every time now. Yeah. It kind of feels like the old invasion. Every single time off the respawn, refilling those more gaps that were needed to be filled. Over like it's the, the same side, thing every time. Sure no the team captures, the captures mid, spawn, that's yeah. your then they fight. It's just, they I don't know. I guess it's just control to be from Miami. control We're in to general. That pressure from. And they hold strong on the well, defense, only allowing I feel three like, segments to get away from them. And I'm pretty sure Linz is uh, now activated. I feel I like if you try to go yeah, for an A break off the rip and you die, it's just so much more punishing on this map. Because like Invasion, you can kind of get out towards B, but on this map, you instantly get put into like that. You just get put in the box so much easier. So it's, you don't see people really break for A or B. Eventually, Vivid will survive long enough to kind of keep the clock stopped, but Lucky Top Bricks thought he had an angle at it, but not quite. Vivid wins it relatively Faith of the 20, hope the, the fiance is doing okay since the accident. Yeah, she's good. Sure Thank you very much. To make sure this clock keeps on ticking. Yeah. Don't even allow, Eric allow Boom turned things around. He was 0-7, well. now 7. Players up to a junkyard. You already have players trying to cut up through the middle of the map. Yeah, this is well. a good... So Minnesota, they do not have an angle. Or at least the trades, the gunfights going in their favor. It's a decent defense from Rocker so far. I mean, at the eight point five for offense, I mean, sorry. Able to take down Eric Boom first and they should be able to get this now. Triple and cap. Miami There's no one in position. It's going to be nice and slow to this one. So they might just give this one up for free. Awakening playing from top third. Finds Eric off his spawn. 
a couple of shots from Lucky, kind of similarly so, over towards that yeah, top AC two position. Minutes. But yeah, absolutely. Not enough success nor kills to find a way to break back over. So the extra 60 gets tallied. 20 plays 21, small advantage for Minnesota. Minute 45 Ooh, on the clock. Still not a lot of ground to work with here in terms of breaking. Big things. wins so by Vickle. Wins will drop. Minnesota have to come off spawn and restructure. We were and playing with Vickle the other day in an early morning stream. A single player from Miami. He knows three languages. Junk, so you can apply that pressure. Yeah, Mandarin, right? We told him to say a phrase in fucking Mandarin. He started ripping it. That's actually crazy. It was, it was crazy. I'm so jealous of people who could speak a bunch of at least two languages. Work with on the side of Miami, they're just trying to have the same exact setup, the same response that Minnesota. One off of that defense. cruise. Already 45 seconds knocked off that game clock. There it is. Trades back and forth. 50-50 gunfights, largely speaking, but Miami start to earn a bit of an advantage in that life lead. 60 seconds now down to Minnesota. Do kind of sneak through the middle of this defensive setup, and as Nico drops. Oh, big win for Eric Boom. For concern here, if you're Miami, because. Minnesota's gonna be able to hit this with some force. Oh, Lucky what a tries huge two from the wall. Accuracy and a huge 1v1 win. That'll slow down Minnesota just about to a halt. As Metals is also Good split play. forward. He tracks out Vivid, and now it's just down to finding these last couple of the Rocket members that have made their way yeah, in. Yeah, last alive, big wake Three. and top red. One's pushed out. This is great. Great work out of uh, Miami on the defense. The clean defense here for Miami now in the set of its first spawn trap. <laughs> and that was such a big kill from Lucky, because if he loses that gunfight, it all falls into the hands of Metals. Just trying to shut down three players over towards red. But once he finds that kill, you see metal with the heads up play turns around catches the player off spawn and then lucky continues to slay in towards top red and now that's only 20 seconds left minnesota's last hoorah well, you have one player going on a pinch awakening through middle so they have an avenue to try to wait, get they're gonna in. get on accurate should be able to just step on into the zone stop the all clock takes yeah, a couple kills that are hitting over oh my gosh number four is, is gonna get a freebie though that's a beautiful nade to the other week they can't even push round heroics here don't troll minnesota Second player gets stacked. There's oh, the extra Cruz now. Cruz call, doesn't find anything. Kills from Miami start to come yeah, it's through, two for two trade, they though. They got somebody the out. Number four, he's making now a tweak. Finally contested, but Lynn steps out, finds the kill. Eric and Metal's trying to work out for the last couple of the kills, and they will. Should be the round. The two last alive. There for Minnesota the got Harry, though. I mean, Rocky, yeah, Rocky had a nice opportunity Minnesota. there. I think yeah. it like one more kill. So at least put yourself up in the segment column. Now you're leading by Nine. one, but you also get the investment of at least one cruise. Good one, Riley. Pulled that one out from 20 fucking 10. Going forward, I dude, I used to be haunted by that picture. The game of Back in the day, people used to tweet me that all the now fucking you just have to time. Make up for those segments. I Literally, like to see an early B pressure play because I feel like my dude. Riley, Riley's bored. Point, but when you're able to what you catch do? off guard for you a didn't B see? play, you're basically Jesus. in the guarantee an attacking round. So I'm really curious to see what their initial <laughs> start is on this round. That'll be probably the kind of thing to highlight for both these two teams. One, one. Is there going to be any trickery up any sleeves here? I mean, for Minnesota, we kind of heard it from the desk. We also mentioned it briefly, but this is their most rehearsed and by far best They have control, two cruise so missiles or just one? We'll see if they do get tested, they have a response, or if they have something possibly up their sleeves on their own right. But for Miami, nothing strange here. A little bit of focus over towards one. Hotel. Eric gets traded out, but at least finds one for his life as Eagle stays safe Ooh. on the point. Contested, though. Accuracy trying to jump on in, but Metal's quick to recover, and that'll be the first take gone. Yeah, first segment already complete. You have a lot Number of eight. The left side control. If you are he lucky. gets sniffed. Also finds the timing to not allow Vivid to eliminate his teammate on towards the point. And Miami, with all these kills that they're getting, it's time to hit that rotation. You already have Vico trying to push Okay, no, the they, did have, they did have two. But with all your teammates when did they get the second? Not the best time to he just fucking runs missile. it into the wall. Was gonna go complete what was that cruise? I don't know. Let's do this, too. I didn't like that cruise at all. Oh, my goodness. Good luck, he's having a great series. If it does get caught, though, so I don't know Miami, about first map, but like you mentioned, working to having a solid map, control, search was crazy. Accuracy, the only one inside the zone. Linz, seen over towards Arches. That's enough information for Beagle to find the free kill. Trade from Lucky. Think I mean, holy shit, look oh, at this pinch. What a pinch from Eric Boom. Uh, great play from Eric Boom. Play, Eric Boom. And now all of a sudden, Miami, they should just be and that should be the round. About time you woke up, kid. Eric Boom, not that shit. Triple stacked, and he has. Well, they're tripled on it. Yeah, back alley. Yeah, time. wow. Eric takes up 2 1. One round away from 3 0 in Rocker. Miami get the quick wow. Ooh, I know they had two cruise missiles. Miami's looking good. Yeah, Eric looking it. good. Keep that in mind. When you get a cruise missile, it's usually going to guarantee one kill, but when you're finding those kills close towards red, at least finding that you trade went from on the 0 and 8 to 17 and 14. What a bounce Miami back for real. Close over towards that red side junk, and they were able to just use their numbers to bully their way in through the cafe. Eric Boom ends that round on 5, but. Now, if you are Miami, you're up 2-1. 
Jonathan said, I love the watch party. I always put it on my Series X and have the main feed on my so phone for the in-game rewards. Got a min-max. Hell yeah. Exactly yeah, I'd love to get those. To on that attacking ground. Not one kill from Eric Broom until he earns himself. Give me those. Yeah, they're going to need to obviously win this offense, but... Yeah, one off of the cruise. Five tick difference. Yeah, so if they do it by lives, they have to at least capture two ticks over towards this B zone. But once again, Miami just right off the break off. Not worried about just waiting to see where Minnesota are going. I mean, if Metals no, gets this, this we'll it, it might just be much. GG because that'll top be a free here. A break. Metals and accuracy are in a really tough argument over the top. Of or Eric, sorry. Awakening is there to kind of quell any further play. And with that, Minnesota stopped the clock as they start to make some progress on it. Yeah, and they have a lot of map control as well. You have bridge side. You currently have top red as well. Oh, he's not going to check yeah, it. Boom, just trying to play for at least one kill. Oh my but gosh, it's not going to matter. Yes, it is. Oh my god. The uh, first okay. segment does get complete. Okay. Now, Minnesota five couple get kills in the feed. Now it's time to hit that go button. Let's try to get over towards B and hit that early transition. But, but Vivid gets cut down. Linz is going to get red on the flank. He does find that kill, but now Miami are going to get all those close bonds over towards Cafe. It falls into the hands of uh, Eric Boom, who finds two, shuts down that pressure. So it's going to be time extended, but Miami ready for the push. Yeah, absolutely. Linz on the floor now. Goal, by the way, from Eric Boom. I mean, because Linz is just out here just trying to keep Miami's defense. If Miami so wins 3-0, they but get into winners over Carolina. I don't think it matters the map count. I think they just got to win, right? I think they just got to win, yeah. Linz on five in a row. Now, all of a sudden, he can try to hit this, but shot at over the top. Lucky trying to challenge, and that will oh, be enough to shut things down. Three for down. Heretics. In the meantime, it's that was people huge. over the middle of the map. It's a rocker in a bit of a trap here, but no, they, don't have, they don't have full-on red control yet. These fights, these, these upcoming fights could be the game. At least if you, at least if you're a Minnesota Rocker, you have red control, so you can decide to fight right through the front end. <clears throat> but these next couple of fights are going to be massive because if you lose them, you allow Miami to put you in that trap. dead. You to not Number one's behind them. Two dead. They don't find any kills in the feed. Last player up is going to be Awakening. He does take down Eric Boom. Gets some awesome shots. Metal, is able to open up that avenue for his teammates to sprint right through forward. This is Damn, all that boy Jordan. Yeah, Jordan. what's up, Jordan? Minnesota, Appreciate the vids. Hey. Quickly. I mean, it's our pleasure, man. Thank you. Right here and stop Thanks for showing love. As they're just continually labored 1v1s in front oh, of the zone. Across, but they're not making any kills. Off by metals. Eric's still watching on the cross. Vivid eventually gets taken down. And yeah, here we go again. Miami's, Miami's not looking not too shabby. It's getting still, about that time where Rocker have to clutch up soon. Every given moment they can. They're trying to win back these key positions. Yeah, they're going to have to get some so kills. Far, it's been very successful for them. 11 v 11, there's two kills. Now there's no, this is this is their chance right here. Yeah, but I feel see. like oh, a good tap. I feel like anytime this happens, the people always find two because like the offies back alley and shit people play are so hard to read. It's a big lift for Eric Boom. Find two, find three, find four. In the trade engagement, Miami up close and personal with those SMGs. They prefer those one last wave, folks. Only 20 seconds left, Minnesota. This is your last push. Yep, absolutely. Even players coming off. Did they do it? Go in one by one. So this was the last concentrated hit for Minnesota. There's Even one. Dealt with immediately. Trade quickly there, though. Two. Lands, follow up from metals. Not that's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Covered. Damn, man. Rocker get three owed in a must win match for them. Oh, metal just roared. Resurgence. In these last two series, they'll get the series. Wow. With a very clean three one and Rocker. I mean, yeah. Uh, Miami secures winner's bracket and Rocker secured themselves a spot in losers. That's a that's a tough match for Rocker, man. Very tough. Damn. That's insane, man. Heretics look good in their last two matches, though. They're looking they're looking a little a little more like their normal selves, looking solid. In the back of their yeah, and I believe. No does that put heretics in? Yeah. We're in. We just have to yeah. Damn. Miami going to steal a winner's bracket spot. They're going to be a bad seed, but honestly, who cares? If you're in the winner's bracket, seeding really doesn't matter. That second well, chance. Well, they're the eighth seed, so they're going to play Optic or New York? Yeah, you're obviously you're going to play a good team, but at least you get a second chance. No, I mean, you'd definitely rather winners versus any team round one than losers. Yeah. I mean, that's I mean, huge. Damn, yeah. Vickle top frags with 4,500 damage. Mat number three. This was they look good, man. They look real good. Yeah. We're talking about Karachi, where they used to be one of the best people on defense. They started to score. What gentlemen. the hell? It's my alter I'm ego. acting like a, I'm acting like it's not happening. Eat the banana. Eat the banana. Riley, did you show Ash Cheeks on stream? I think you did. What are you talking about? Man? Yep. Naked is indeed naked in that photo. And then shutting down that play every single time. Miami just don't play it again, Riley. Clean 3-0 from them. 
I think we may have to do like a brief was there cheeks? analysis on this. There Miami was indeed butt cheeks. Qualifiers. Really? Simple Jack coming in with a 10 gifted memberships. Simple Jack, thank you for the 10, big dog. Appreciate that. Welcome to the 10 new subs from Big Simple Jack. Appreciate it. Hell yeah. talk about after the 3 comes through the heritage. Back to back three zeros. We, we we might catch a perfect timing to see Optic versus Phase in the winter in the winter semifinals. Well, now yeah, now we're just hoping for another 3-0. Yeah. I mean, back to back three zeros. Make the executive. What are we doing? Are we playing it by ear? We're playing it by ear. Playing it by ear. You heard it from the man himself. We're playing it by ear. But big win for Miami. Going to find themselves in that winner's bracket. They struggled at land last event. Let's see if this new roster can uh, play better. I hope so. They didn't for win their, a map last their tournament. Sake, they went they went zero and two, zero and six. They did not. Hey, Chris, you like a popsicle? And yeah, I mean, this is going swimmingly. This is exactly what we wanted to happen. We wanted some three O's so we could watch the gentleman. <laughs> we, you know. Hey, Mark, would you like Wagyu Hot Rock? Damn. Six and all map count on the day. All these CDL series seem to fly by for the most part now. I feel like we see so many 3-0s. Yeah, I mean, I think Minnesota was very happy with the maps that you heard. You know, studying shift going through it, I totally agree with them. Like, this was a series set up. Uh, Lax said, get rid of Wake, Rocker fan. Jesus. Let's talk about the first one, for example, Rio. They're in a great situation. It's rotating over towards Lobby Hill. They send only Vivid up the middle of the map. He loses his gunfight. And from there, <laughs> we all played Rio. You know how it goes. You lose P3, you're likely losing P3. How about them stats yet, Riley? Could you uh could you pull up those stats for us, please? So the SD they have a 4-2 lead, guys. They're in a great spot. They have bomb down at B, all four players alive, and you get picked one by one to get retaken. These things can't happen. I mean, do you think Toronto 3 0s here? From Miami, I, I don't know. They should. So much better. Are we going to see another nine? I feel like we've seen so many 9 0 map count days. I mean, I think, it's actually fucking insane. I think Toronto should win somewhat convincingly. But Thieves could prove us wrong, and, and, and this is their time to do it. I don't think they're proving us wrong. This is the first time I feel like Thieves do have a, a, a bit of upset potential versus a top team. Like the, this iteration of Thieves with the way they've been playing, this is the first time I feel like they could potentially do it. It's unlikely, but I feel like this is the first time they even have a chance. Yoshi's playing well. Nasty turned up recently. I feel like Afro is their X Factor, at least in respawn. I mean, 15 from fucking Bucky. Yeah, one off the record. One off beat, uh, breaking the record. LAT won it more? I don't think so. You're gonna bring that momentum and we saw in stage one how good I think, they were Karachi control seems like it's better. I think Toronto wants to win this series based off their last uh, their last match. You don't you don't ever want to go into a major on an It's a completely different feeling going in on a high and on a low. It's like, there he is. And Big Vic, we're coming home to Miami next weekend. You guys have a chance of playing in the winner's bracket after that 3-0. What's the talk like in the camp right now? Um, I'm pretty sure doing the math, you know, my dad is a big math guy, so he told me um, if Carolina lost and we beat Rocker, we would secure winner's bracket. I trust my dad, so I think we uh, we secure pretty uh, we secure winner's bracket, so we're pretty happy about it, you know. W, Dad. Um, big win from us, and I'm looking forward for next week. Shout out to Daddy Vico, yeah. following along, <laughs> doing the math for you every match. Vico, congratulations on this win, and congratulations on securing winner's bracket. Uh, you know, I was one of those people kind of screaming from last beginning of the season, you know, having you guys come back to the league, haven't seen you since Black Ops 4, you know, starting major two qualifiers wasn't what you guys would have hoped for, and so I start, I stopped believing in you, I think some of us did, but well, now you guys are back. Do you have anything that you want to say to the Miami Heat fans as you are street? heading into Miami that next my week? camera? That's Ring. Um, Is that you? Shout out to no. everyone that stayed on our side. Is it a Ring camera? Yeah. On five, you know. But um, I thought it was mine. Just into the league, you know. It's uh, being on the big screen is not easy. So he's been uh, working on on himself, on his confidence, and he's been looking so much better. And that has helped us all over overall in in practice and in these last two matches. So um, I'm hoping our rookie of the of the season keeps up with us because he's gonna. He's gonna show up online and we're gonna do great things. And thank you to all the fans that stayed on our corner. Um, we didn't take any of you for granted, so appreciate all of you and we love you. 
Uh, Javi, vamos, man. You guys have righted the ship. What do you attribute that to? What was the change in the gameplay? Because you guys have completely turned it around in this last week. I mean, I think Eric mentioned it last week. Our practice wasn't going uh, bad at all. Um, you know, the top four teams are still, you know, the top four. So they they give us really hard practice. But the rest of the teams in general, we were pretty like... Um, we're winning most scrims. We're we're working uh, hard against like against everyone, and I think it was just uh, making sure that um, we translated <laughs> our practice into games. You know, I feel like the top four teams. Uh, I think we played three of them. Um, just are on top, so they beat us really easily. But it was a close loss against Vegas, a close loss against Thieves, and um, I mean, we just had like that little um, you know zone to to pass, and we did that these last two matches. So we're happy about it. Vico, final question for you. I need to ask a favor for our editor. Can you please just look into your camera and say, welcome to Miami in Spanish? <laughs> Bienvenidos a Miami. You're welcome, editor. There Bienvenidos. We go. That Vico. That's your monster winner spotlight, and we will see you on land in the winner's Bienvenidos next week. Bienvenidos a Miami. That's irreversible damage. <laughs> Here we go. I couldn't think anything fast enough. My my Spanish is shit. But yeah. Damn, no one posited for Rocker. All three, or three out of four for Heretics. Eric Boom was making some plays. Lucky, 62 kills, 1.38. Monster series from him. <clears throat> yeah, Lucky, Lucky's lucky been playing some good COD, I feel like, the snack past couple time, matches, Snack man. time, snack time, snack time. You guys want anything? I'm good. Okay. No, I'm good. Uh, Jordan, interested to see how the LA Thieves show up today against the Toronto Ultra. I'm not going to lie. I think it's about to be a bloodbath. Again, I think Toronto is going to... Toronto's going to be pissed off. They just got Nezlo'd. Everyone was making yep. fun of them. I think Toronto's coming in pissed the fuck off in this series. I, I mean, Thieves will... Play, I think they'll start pulling though. It'll be like one of those where they look good off the rip and then That happens a lot. Toronto like, pulls away. It'll be like a hundred a hundred and then it'll be like a hundred fifty to fifty point swing and then the rest of the series. Yeah, it's slam. over. Yeah. It's like once they get going, it's just done. I could see a three one ultra though. I could see three one, but if, I think it'll be three oh. I could see three one, but I'm sorry, Nade shot. I'm not. I can't remember what Nate Shot was saying earlier. Any brewskis today? No, no brewskis today. I haven't been drinking, man. When I do drink now, it's two drinks and I'm kind of sauced. My best <laughs> can't lie. Is probably, um, last year uh, Big there. Smoke. Um, I just He said, Money Bows, I just got my Boston Shamrock hoodie. Love the quality designs you make for your merch. You inspired me to do my own merch. Hey, hell yeah, bro. Appreciate that's, you, man. Yeah, that's some good gas. Thank you for supporting uh, the brand. I wish you uh, best of luck, and I'll be supporting yours. Yeah, we got we got some shit dropping next week. Am I? Yeah, yo. You guys fuck with the Boston drop, so we said run it back. For We're Miami, doing one for baby. Miami. Welcome to Miami. Did I say on stream that I was cooking up a design? I, I don't think I said it on stream, but last night I got home and I've had a design that I really want to do. I don't know if it's going to make the cut, but I like started going in when I got home. <laughs> I started seeing the shirt. The Lamborghini. The whoa, whoa, flowers. Whoa. Oh, shit. Damn, that's my bad. Shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chat. I almost leaked. <laughs> we can't be giving too much out. Uh, did I see the new Ultra Unplugged episode? I did not. Are we going to be in Miami? Yeah, it's in Fort Lauderdale, but yeah, we'll be in Fort Fort Lauderdale. Maps and modes. Rio, High Rise, Karachi. Sub-base invasion. Are Toronto testing maps here? They're 3-1 and one on Rio, so no. High Rise search, they're 0-1. Oh that could be a test. 0-0 oh oh for the Thieves. Karachi, 6-1 versus 1-1 for Toronto, 6-1. Sub-base, 4-0. Versus one and two invasion, so it doesn't really look like they're testing maps here. Two and one for Toronto, four and two. I don't think we're going to a game five, however. Elevator 
is me. What's up, Zen? I don't really like those very much. You like those? I'm not huge on them, but good nourishment. The, the best option, protein bar. Then hit wrong, girl. Uh, here we go. Intros. Ooh. Big moves. Big step in, in the, the right, right direction. direction. No thieves intro. Fuck. Where's the thieves? In we need we need a new thieves intro, dude. They have one that didn't get approved. What did Nate shots show sack or something? Wouldn't put it past the guy. They were robbing a bank. So apparently, apparently, the thieves had an intro made. That wasn't approved. It was them robbing a bank. And it wasn't approved because they didn't want to promote crime. So we heard. Nothing for sure. That's what we just heard through the grapevine. Sethi, you aren't missing anything with Ben 10. Ross, that was like an hour and a half ago. Dude, some of the, some of the YouTube chats. Yeah, they're like an hour dude, late. they're like right? an hour behind. Bro. bro. I see that all the time. I I don't even know if they're real. I'm like, is that a real comment? <laughs> Got to hit that two times. People watch in delay. Yeah, I guess so. We pause the stream sometimes? I mean, I get that you pause the stream sometimes, but that's not even a pause, really. That's a fucking... Yeah, that's a... I'm gonna go... That's like a I'm gonna go work exit. out and get some food, and I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> that's an exiting of the stream. <laughs> I'm, gonna I'm gonna go watch a movie, yeah. come back. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are still alive. Go ahead, Zen. You're, you're, you're the expert on this shit. No, oh, yeah, it's tough to see. Can you get a control plus one. for us? Can we get a new one? I'm tired of doing this one. Fuck yeah. See, there it is. I don't know any of these shows. How to Train Your Dragon? Happy St. Patrick's Day, Nooch. Yeah, I don't know these. I don't know these. No. Nope. I don't know any Riley. Take seek, nope. And they're all in S tier. <laughs> no. No. Nope. Let me find out Riley was an absolute Cartoon Network main. Holy shit. What's the Scooby Doo one down there? This is like the off-brand jump. This is the off-brand list. What's new Scooby Doo? Why do I feel like I remember that? Someone's stomping. What are you guys? What are you guys hearing? No one's stomping. Wait. Oh, Cody Oko's in the S tier. What is that? You can hear my heart. <laughs> I think I think Code Lyoko is definitely ST. I, I used to love that show. Dude, you guys are fucking. The rest of 
I think we can move on to a new uh, a new list because yeah. I don't know anymore. I don't know mucho lucho. No, actually, no. I I, I, I remember it. I remember it a little bit, but I don't like recalling it up to to place it somewhere. Oh, we're getting fist bumps out. Fuck yeah! Here we go. Chat. We got our last CDL match of the day. It's actually a decent. I I hope it's a decent match. Here we go, folks. Yeah, I was gaming. That's that's my excuse. Y'all were watching Cartoon Network. I was fucking. I was gaming. doing it all. I was playing Need for Speed, Rock Band, Rock Band, SmackDown versus Raw. You were yeah. sitting there. Hell yeah. Guitar Hero. <clears throat> yeah, eating fried Oreos. No, Making your own no, Oreos. Yeah. No, I wasn't eating fried Oreos in that era. I like that idea, Nathan. It was a certain. I was eating fried Oreos in the Jersey Shore era. Here we go, map number one. We got Rio again. Hell yeah. LA Thieves, map number one, we fly into Rio. So Seth is the uncultured one? I mean, I wouldn't say not knowing cartoons is uncultured. And I know a lot of them. I just don't know, like, the uh, Thieves won the break. Thieves won the series. I know Kleenex was just cracking jokes about it, but him and Insight talk about And we got Thieves starting on the good side. It's maybe a little bit of extra spice in this series for him, but for the moment, Thieves, oh god, inside the hill, of course. Well, that moment has dissipated. and there's the clean That's break, a clean form, man. Wipe and the bad spawns for LA Ultra. Now, I have the map on a strike. Fried Oreos is crazy. How do you even think of eating that? Do you ever been to a boardwalk or a fair? Try one and, and, then, and then we'll talk. Final 15 here of P1 should go to the boys in purple. Pressure then out from Ghosty flying on through, but it's on boy there with that submachine. The rival nine, an absolute weapon here in MW3. I love the decision. Little funnel cake action. Chasing the kill stays around the time. Nothing like that fair smell. Yep. 23 23 after the first hill, but I fear Toronto has won the battle. They got the P2 rotation. Oh, baby, that's full. And Kleenex gets the two piece on pillars in the tight setup reign supreme. Uh, DM me the order number, uh, Anthony Harris. I fear this can get out of Imagine. hand for the thieves. Why spin it? Solid chunk of time gone in the first for LA thieves. Now over to the second hard point. And the hot dog stand is open for business. And so far, they got him in the absolute trap. They are going to break in, though. Big 1v1 win from Dylan. Yeah, Craig gets that extra one, and maybe he could have, you know, slightly gotten back in the game. Not too shabby on the score front for the moment. LA Thieves certainly want to keep the pressure. Yeah, Thieves going to keep fighting this till the very end. Job just staying alive, slowing these guys Now, down, here comes the break. Actually, Ultra able to make that break. We're going to have a 40 second lead going to. Towards new and Envoy already taken around. Bluefin was sold in Tokyo for three mil. See that guy? Slow. That was like two hours ago. He's going to fall in the beginning of the show. <laughs> the <pressure for> Toronto, <laughs> he might never see us talking about it either. Fierce's way through boxes. <laughs> yeah, he had no lie. You might never see us say this. <laughs> Good hold for thieves. Three yeah, three dead off rip. Great job. Toronto, not too far away as reinforcements go. Number four is going to be the man causing problems. Crimno, the four spree is done. Yeah, Twitter, Anthony. Afro now back on the stair line. Quick contest. In and out. Ultra keeping the elite thieves on their toes. Nice shots out of Afro. Okay, Afro, nice shots. Well. Grab eight to six leading the way. For the bread, Dylan Envoy. Big two. He might be able to nick the deck 20. I mean, everything for LA was so good up until they don't get that one trade. Still had the opportunity to fight back on this time, but you just see the amount of damage. That's not a bad hold from the Thieves, though. When they're falling. P2, Ultra, good hold from Toronto. P3, good hold from the Thieves. On to P4. It's a hold fest. Time, and LA Thieves might have sort of evened up the, the score count, but you do want to be spawning on the left side of the map for this hill, but they don't have boxes oh, controlling man. Afro, continuing to piece, slowing these players down, and ghosting next man in line. He feels like the guarantee for the Thieves squad to get those trades. We might see a lead change here, folks. All over the map. LA Thieves, nice Reels in, Dexter's Lab, S tier easy. Great shots as well, Dan Ghosty. They're all, the a lot of them are really behind. No, now they're That's doing great. it on purpose. You think so? Yeah, time. some people definitely are. Now from Ultra, lead change. LA Thieves back in this one. Clean X is going to send it. Easy trades here for the LA Yeah, like boys. someone just said, crazy two piece by attack. So like he's strong. Oh, no, Insight gets his. Nasty's been break is in. Great collapse Ultra out of Toronto. In, and that's a late break and a 20 solid second bit of time to have there. And Insight's so good, too. It's like so uncomfortable to play against him because you know he's just going to be L triggered. But when you feel the pressure from his teammates in like the backside of your spawn flanking, well, you're forced to make a move. You run into his iron. Here we go, Bridge Hill. Dangerous place to be even now. I mean, Ultra just look at the routes Toronto takes. 
Like, I just want to emphasize, they are so good at taking these deep pinch routes and setting up, like, actual breaks on Hill, where a lot of the times, I feel like that's something the teams are just missing. Like, they do so well at taking their time on breaks instead of just trying to get the easy shit done quick. Like, they are very disciplined. The Thieves are fighting back. I mean, this is a solid map so far. And they're probably the best hard point team we have in the game right now. So, they beat us in two HDs. Like, if I'm other teams, I'm watching Toronto play hard point. Because, oh, it's just, it's consistent. It's a consistent way to play the game right now. going to come in a pretty big impact on quite a few of these hills, so... Easy to utilize. We'll see how they can pay off with it. But even without the crews for the moment, this has been a beautiful hold of this hard point hill. They have run the score up. And again, it all started off the back of Back to P1 we go. About a 50 point lead for the Ultra. So game After the first set. The moment, albeit just for a 50 point lead on the reset. But staying ahead of the game, Ultra, they are going to be the first team to the new top. I feel like Not holding. Let me know what you guys think about this. But I feel like holding bridge scrap right there. They go crazy. They two v four them. But I feel like holding bridge bridge scrap is like detrimental on this map. Oh boy, going crazy. He's in flow right there. I feel like every time we see a team holding scrap, they never win the P one. That's his absolute. What's coming you now? Yeah, and then one security. Two shot. Two shot to you. Shot we three year old. Go right right now. Push that cat, maybe? Stun me? Yeah, yo, it's the bathrooms, bathrooms. Bathrooms? Yep. They're playing out. Hop at skis, too. He could have pinched bathrooms. Yeah, I think he did. Look cool. Good shot, bathrooms. bathrooms, dead. Nice. I'm gonna nice. hit front. Yeah, we should hit front, fast. Push. We're gonna hit front. Shop at me, shop at me. Shop at me, dude. Last one on top. Last one on top. I'm just giving him up, bro. Yeah, that's fine. Shoot one. Spotting here. Calf, no? Uh, it's still my leg. Fuck. I'm gonna go deep pinch, just in case. So one in the back of me. Stun him in the back. Yeah. One shot dead. I'm one shot. Another one more. One more. Close. Close. Shot, 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 shot. Still back there. Shot, shot, shot. Shot and hold, I think. Drops are pushed out. I spawned. I did. Might spawn front of us. Never mind. I'm cap then. I'll hold pinch. I'll hold pinch. Dark. Shot now. Shot in. Dead. I stark too. Ghosty. Ghosty. What can I do? Watch me gate. Don't try me half wall. Just spawn. Good time. It's not close. That's it. I'm just spawn behind the jello. Gate. It's already out. Half wall dead. Gate. Gate. Gate dead. Map soup. One half wall on the left side. One shot. I'm so weak. It's uh. Yeah, push. Go see, go see on the half wall. I'm, I'm so weak. Yo, he dropped down, bro. Cramp, 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 Still not pushed, nice remo. I spawned pretty deep. I have a streak. One already whale. He went yeah, I spawned garage. I'm making him so up, bro. Yeah, already oh, one. I can get my yellow. Deep whale. Deep whale and one cross caution. That's one garage. Like whale. Whale is absolutely dead. After here as well, no? What kind of whale? whale? One more stun caution. Caution window, there's two. In caution, we nothing, nothing will push. Nothing 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 nothing. That's a nice four down for Ultra. And Toronto, yeah, right now, with a Dylan and Jamie. Nasty, Nasty's having a tough one, and Nasty is someone you need in this type of series. Yep. Like, with the type of capability and Nasty has, like, like he needs to be on for, to win a series like this. Brandon with a five. He said, Hoodie game. Insight He's is scary. Thank you, Brandon. Appreciate it. Nasty Hoodie Insight is going crazy. 21 and 12. Secures the crew. Oh. Almost the lineup. Ooh. Insight together. Well, they just body you. It's an 80 point lead. You are back mm. again to square one, spawning so far away. Looking like they're not going to be able to get this time. Uh, no, not at all. It's magnificent brick wall of defense here. Or oh, Thieves going to break in. <laughs> Clean four. Let's see what the rotation looks like. Still an opportunity. Game's not over. But look at look at these routes they take. Watch Toronto's routes. Number three is playing his progression. He wins it. Now they're tweaking on Hill. Now they're about to get pinched to hell. Look at them. Ooh. They're just so fucking good at that. They're so good at that. I think we're not able to keep these ultra players at bay in instant. I'm glazing. I'm glazing, but they're good. The small opportunity they might have had has been quelled. And now, of course, in sight, maybe a victory lap with the crews. Players are spawning. Dude, Cramp, Cramp's going crazy. Yeah, he is. Covered. Number six, Cramp, going to be going on a flight. He always plays good against good teams. Seemingly getting picked apart. Death from above, either way. Another spree. Another potential cruise. Ultra boys. And this time it's Kleenex. Will he get yep. a cruise? One more kill. One more. Ooh, nice win. Nope, nasty. Ends him. Climbing though, we are looking towards the business end of the game, and we're still on control of the hard point oh for Ultra boy. Insight there with the Renetti. It's not going to end here. Oh, oh, oh wow, they're not even shooting back right now. Yeah, it went right out. Now. 
I, it just looks so easy for him too. Every single kill Insight's been collecting, he's just L trigger shooting players underneath cars. They're running into irons, and I mean again, he is just been bridge gonna be held. Let's up. take, let's see the routes course, they take though, again. We're they're delaying the inevitable. I mean, I'm gonna sound like a broken record. See the just watch this shit. Maybe setting up for another massive pinch. Of course, Insight could be out of the picture. Look for at him go. Bit, Look at him. They are just taking a deep route. Cruise is gonna help a lot too. Because they got the cruise missile to roll through. I think this is the first time I've ever seen Scrap go negative, probably. Took a time though. Ah, no, you're running out of reinforcements. Thieves' numbers dwindling. Scrap now on the pinch, picks up his own. Final few seconds here. Lasty will get one. You said the first time you've seen Scrap go negative? Yeah. Oh bullshit. Safe for now. Kleenex still in play. And this is what the fuck? There's more through him. Now from the LA thieves. Yeah, well, they have the cutoffs, right? Player over by top, vending opportunity maybe to work the flank. Scrap gonna hear that from a mile away, though. But really, on this rotation, I guess LA, they have to do two things, right? It's only three seconds. You gotta keep them out of old time and rotate towards new. As he goes on a spree, but maybe too little too late, trying to stay Thieves? alive. You still have P1 control. Not over yet, but so LA Thieves are certainly one set of kills. Fight. Ultra, though, it's just a matter of time, you feel like, before they break it down. Oh, no mm. way. Oh, boy. Nearly gets one there on the uh, pin. Jeffro wins a big one over the Kleenex now. Can he get his? And this is to end the map. Uh, potentially another oh, one. Oh, no. On it's a team kill. Jeffro this time gives Do Can Ghosty a taste of his own medicine. Sim alive and kicking. Oh, boy. Wins the fight. That should be the map. It should be done. No. Another contest. Holy oh, shit. God, Back and forth we go. If they don't the, want it to end, there's no way. Off. He's had a great leg past few hills. He was struggling early, but now bringing a little bit toward the, the table. Still, though, you have so many things on the map that you actually have to do. You want to flip the ultra players out. And again, just for the fact that there's one second, anyone on Toronto want to break this hill in the final uh, moments? They're, they're going to fight this. Storm, Hell yeah, they're Yeah, they're, they're, they're fucking Nasty flying. Look at them. On defense. It is not Ghosty's got to go large. Versus the world. Okay. GG map one. Ultra Thieves make it respectable, but ultra take oh, map number one. Well, the LA Thieves proving that when the chips are down, they were not out of it. They were shooting at the end. Same resolve to sort of the middle of the map. This might have been a far closer Rio hard point. But you're absolutely going to need to rehydrate after that one, lads. That was a sweaty one. Nice start to the series. Ultra, take the lead. I can't tell if Insight looks sick or maybe just a little bit bored. But either way, he was as focused as he needed to be in the map one because he was very comfortable from start to finish. 31 yeah, take a look at the scoreboard. Mark said it. Scrap really goes negative four, like but look at his teammates, man. Point of view. 29 and 25, 31 and 18 out of Insight, having an absolute blinder there. Yeah, he was shooting Jamie. people under cars and everything. They're just a paranoid team. Yeah, he was fine. Yeah, every, everything was just coming to him that game. Shout out to my family watching at home. Uncle Bobby. How are we? Uh, TTV50 said, y'all give me an all fuck, all piss, all fuck. Oh, piss. Oh, piss. Fuck yeah, thank you very much. Remains, however, yeah, I sound like a broken record, but... Toronto just takes great routes. Have you guys perhaps given any thought to doing a potential PS2 game tier list? That's what I want to do next, Riley. PS2 games. We, the community, get a nickname? Uh, is this PS2 games? PS1? No, I need PS2. I didn't play PS1, really. Yo, chat, what do y'all want to be called as a community? During the PS1 era, I was playing uh, Nintendo 64 and GameCube. Dumpers? What are y'all trying to be called? The subscribers? The watch partians? No. Enjoying a chill in the weather department over in LA, though. It is not cold. Let me tell you that, boys and girls. We're sweating over here in my little studio. Better go to high rise and try to catch some of that sweet, sweet high altitude air. I'm looking for any that are serious. The scump pumpers. The Kingsman? The scumper humpers. The scumper dumpers. Wow, you guys are fucking. Nah, Kingsguard and Kingsman are fire. It's a, you know, it's the first time Scumpy LA meat pack. 
brand okay. new for these guys on that front. And then, of course, for Ultra, it is only the second time that they have played this map all year. So, uh, a bit of Riley a just said see, that I'm not even going to repeat that. Actually, this entire stage has either been working on the map pool, which they've been spamming real hard point and SD. This, okay. Yeah. Looking, uh, even when look at, I'm still looking for some serious the ones. Best teams in the game. They're squaring up and going no. against all their best maps. So these two teams looking for the experience. Honestly, we can never. Reps and we can't. Map pool as much I agree. As possible, but SD has been an interesting thing for Ultra. Travis, thank you for the five. They have been getting slammed as of late, like ninth overall in the uh, opening duel win front. Their conversion is still fantastic when they're getting the bloods, but I know they've gotten. Guys, chat, I'm not going to lie. The creativity juices are not flowing in this chat room. Front. They are indeed <laughs> not <laughs> flowing. <laughs> <laughs> negative end of quite a few six O's and S and They are G. not. And of course, now it's a brand new map for him. So, are you looking for like a watch time party time theme name or like a your community? I'm theme looking name? for anything right now. Exactly. I'm right looking for anything. Yeah, I mean, right now everyone's head seems pretty cool. The cards watch, uh, an air like the night's watch, but the cards uh, watch. Focused anxiety there for the LATs. has been a very difficult run. I'm trying to think of a play. I'm did you, did you hear Riley? Yeah, he needs to fucking shut his mouth. Uh, I'm thinking. Oh my Lee god, that's hilarious. Difficult season so far. Adding Krim to the roster has definitely given them a, a nice sort of bump of firepower, <laughs> as have Nasty. But is it enough to get the team together? Time is the only sort of thing. <laughs> oh, Riley's now. getting rowdy. That major is next week. There's no room for mistakes here for Ultra. Uh, Grim with an eight said, All piss is now part of my regular vocabulary. No Thanks. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean. We got it from Matt. We have probably passed it on to some of you guys. Apologies. Apologies for that. Oh, damn. <laughs> what are you going to do? The one pump scumps. A little bit of truth to it. Sometimes it happens. What are you going to do? Well, for s and it's been a struggle point for Ultra. For Afro... It's been his uh, time to shine. The scum has been his shots is so, so good. Two, no, it's not. The scum shots? The, the scum shots. Nah, that's a, I saw someone say the ad nerd. That margin, so Afro's a player to look out for, but talk about the underground the domination. These fights can really we'll try again later, chat. Maybe versus Afro down low. We'll try again later. Something. No one's committing nothing. Here we go, map Whatsoever. number two, high rise, search and destroy. This relationship will not get very far. So we're meant to play it, and no one really seeing too much. It becomes a commitment towards the B Street. Finally, the ultra. And it's an all-out B Street aggression. Seriously, as they're making their way forward, scrap on the outside. Will he be able to catch Ghosty? He caught wind of it. Oh, on the other side of the map now, tags either side. This is going to be the start of the round now. 45 seconds to go. What? Huh? Oh, they're going for well, nothing. Nothing. Just, uh, so I'm just seeing them there. <laughs> the Ghosty is gonna this is a quick Ultra round for Ultra. And let's throw us something well, to say about it. Towards the bomb. Two players up top. Good Put some shots, good damage down. Man disadvantage. He's waiting for Nasty to get in the oh, mix. I'm in the elevator. Ultra players are crawling all over the map. There is Spicy Tuna with a five just asked, are you optic for life or can money change that? What the hell? <laughs> well, his teammate Solomon, he did it in a little bit too late. Ultra dominant in round number one. Yeah, without uh, any sort of pressure on the map, Ultra just creep in towards that bomb site, scrap the man and get the bomb down AS. Or he gets the first blood actually. What about you, Zen? Bomb down ASAP. What? You optic for life or can money After change that? that? Curtains, there's no hope. I'm optic for life, man. Even the gun skill of the LA Thieves not enough to save them. Why are you trying to set me up for something? Like, what are you trying to set up here? What about you, Mark? Win. They're in the first. I'm tied in. It's tatted yeah, on me. Incredibly efficient. Let's no not act wasting. like you don't have price. Good stun and, uh, nade There's always a price. As well, just to go for the clearance and you can you can sit on that. You can be on that high horse all you want. So you're saying that there's a price for you. I'm not saying anything. That's what you just said. There's always. I'm a price. not saying anything. Don't put words into my mouth. Just on quote unquote said. There's always a price. Everybody has a price. Dan Ghosty gets a two piece with the propane. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. It's the second Hold kill. on. Afro, too busy running. He's going on, boy. Oh, my Could God. Get up on him, Dill. You know where they're going, too. The oh, they're on. pushing. They're crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. He's battled 1v4. Oh, no, no. why you did up down? Oh. What was that, Mark? He's a full bone lens. Keeps it all together. Ah. Mm -hmm. thieves bounce back, but hey, man. Yet to get the, yet to oh, get he wanted that so bad. Through ace in that regard. 
as spicy as possible. Tons, though, we've seen in our... Uh, that CDL was almost fucking play. filthy out of deal, though. In, folks. CDL TV is absolutely popping. Thieves, though. Good looks out of them. Let's see if they can keep it going. Is that Thunder? Yeah, and it's storming out. Ultra, uh, this is all really? What's going on with the, the unveiling, then, if it's storming? Massive all right. <laughs> it can be a problem. For Rain or shine, time, it's so. happening? What if it's uh, fucking lightning? There from Dan Gosey in the previous round. And yeah, there was like a big block party in Lower Greenville today that everybody was loved. Like 100,000 people go. Like really? And just pouring out. Yeah. You know, and it hits at the worst possible today? Time, especially here in well, Surgery, a lot of a lot less people are there now. It's like an outdoor thing. Bless you, Robbie. A team kill... Those oh, damn propane. The first blood. Massive advantage here for Ultra in the attacking round. Ghosty desperately And this is a clean round for the Ultra. Happen. They get a little bit of help, oh my God. but still flawless round. All right, pain two one. A colossal pain in the ass. Get that, Ultra. These boys are shooting too. I think Dylan Envoy might uh, deserve the credit. Lower Greenville is dope. Actually, yeah. probably one of my favorite areas got here. It, but it looked like that name was an absolute peach. So yeah, uh, whether it be your team that gets the credit for the kill or Envoy, maybe good news. Takes one away for him if he was going to be playing for the cruise missile. But either way, absurdly dominant round on the attack there from Ultra. Guns are singing sweet and Envoy, a map that you imagine can certainly be his playground. He has been thriving thus far. Right now from Ultra, Dodge. Yeah, Dylan's been exploding. having himself a good series. Good first map, four and two. He had a little bit of a stinky against Optic. Told you, they're, they're here to prove, man. They're here to prove. In this map, Oh, yeah, we might get it. Scrap. This one's safe. You yeah, scrap's right good. It only blows up back. Or forward, fine, sorry. If you're far away from the other one, that's a problem. How dare you? Oh, Afro with a no, great pinch. Finds yeah, a gap. Afro. Two. And a big win here Afro and my Astros. Nasty. Ian Afro now versus Envoy Kleenex. It is a submachine gun rival nine throwdown here on high rise. Bomb soon to be recovered. Hopefully. There we go. And Afro now. Oh, I think Envoy may have caught oh, the Oh, Dill just found play. timing. This could be the siding kill. And that should be the round. Take it back. Nasty. He's, he's got himself MCW. Allow some loud thunder. Nasty in a tough spot. Oh, Got to grab the bomb. What the? Is a moment of oh, Dale just called him out. I do did he not call him out? No, he did Hold on. He, did he not they see him? Saw him? They have to know. No, he didn't see him. What the fuck? Do they? Um, hello? Yeah, there's no way he saw him. Unreal. Number four uh, didn't even react. He's going to get caught. No one asked he clutched this round for this bullshit. Nasty now puts himself in a I mean, if he clutches this, it should be crazy. Be able to get this done. Guns up at the ready, Ooh, son. Oh, like that. He's going to blow the propane. Surely they know why he did that, right? There goes the propane. Oh, I love this route. Yeah, they have no intel. This is super doable. Byron Plumridge has gone for a bit of a walkabout. That's the 30 seconds to go. Oh, no. that's that, that was a great MCW attempt. I liked his play a lot. Is he going to go shoot his body? Yeah, well, why'd he run up to his body like Yo, that? Yo, is Kleenex about a bag of shit? A moment there from Nasty to turn things around massively for the LA Thieves. NT, NT, go next. Yeah, just uh, maybe slightly less ready for that gunfight than Kleenex was. So even with no information, Zombie everything, said the things that I would do to go back in time to 2014 and, and smoke with Prime Skunk, Bows, and Nade would be unmatched. He dies, he is the dope. All the way back in his chair, but Listen, it was fucking that is the difficulty the dope, of playing a team like Toronto, even when the odds sort of work out for you. One it was a good time, man. Seeming like a near impossibility, even with ultra struggles. Their conversion rate in these rounds always fantastic when they get that man advantage. Yeah, they're learning very quickly about how to play high rise S and D. Envoy with the mid map coverage. In case Paul said after this door dash, it's play time like at the park with the kids. Hey, enjoy, man. Spread there across the map there from the thieves boys on defense. Ultra stacking over towards A, waiting for a little bit of action. No fake smokes, no fake nays, just waiting for the gunny. Hello. Gets the info on Kremp. Sees his whiskers, not gonna... Oh. Kremp trying to stay alive. It's scrapped with the MCW at range. Wonderful damage, not enough for the kill. 50 to go. It's also just about the only information Ultra has. Everybody else on LAT have been very stagnant. Oh, nasty. So, Is he going to activate off the info? He's in the back, but you see the spot Nasty's put himself in. If he ever gets the call up, they're planning on B. Nasty will swoop in with a free kill, and if you go down B Street, it might also be free. Envoy near bomb. Afro gets the kill, so the spot's right now still on point. A brilliant work there. The hit and run from the LA Thieves. Nasty's holding that street like his life depends okay, on Okay, good round from there the Thieves. Clean them up. So this is a beautiful round there from the LA Thieves. They held their ground. They've held what they've got. Insight might be able to catch a couple of kills. You see that? Yeah. Hour, <laughs> they just throw shit at the, the wall. Thieves.
Good round. You want to read it? That's Does any have well. a gambling yeah, habit? The Where the fuck well, did that come from? Off. If they start trying to make plays down <laughs> Who knows? The street, they just, I enjoy some casual blackjack whenever I'm like at a casino. But Zinny's just trying to sit here, enjoy the matches, catch so crack a couple jokes. <laughs> Does Zinny have a gambling habit? Out of left field. Also had back -to -back rounds it's being accused exploding propane tanks so oh that's crazy I'm man i'm always down for a vegas trip though teams. i mean that's crazy a little vegas <laughs> action about? late october early november 2009 i think they can't just let you chill sometimes <laughs> instead ask pablo and wallace see that was go, those were good times up. to be honest what, what was that go boom. Frag grenades go boom. when i was in toronto soon the rival nines will go burr Ooh, and after I mean, the match, I would like, if we lost round. or won, I would like, like some early kills in the middle of the drink map. and gamble. Gonna get maybe a free kill. And then and me and Tej had aliases bomb. called Pablo Kleenex and Wallace, and we joined like exposed blackjack table. It, for LAB, We'd be playing you have to blackjack like exposed and shit on a burner. I mean, that's not that crazy. I was Wallace, he was Pablo. Why? Why so secretive? You just gotta go get that. I don't know. We didn't want. It's tough. Oh, nasty grit timing there. Peaks. All right, this is going to be two in a row for the Thieves. One versus three for Dylan, unless he can pull some crazy Last shit. Last man up on Voy. And they would have procured the ace previously. Oh, boy, he may have snuck through. Damage. Yeah, no, no way. Kill. Too much, too much health, a three-piece like that in this round. game. And I gotta say, that's kind of a funny one, too. Mav said howdy from Alaska. What's up, brother? A ghosted yeah, bomb Mav. Carrier and B having it be the bomb carrier sitting in his own spawn while his entire team is pushed up, like, actually around the objective. I good, think good. if Kleenex was, like, heads up and privy to it, that would have been a free round from Ultra. Kleenex could have just sat in a corner in spawn. I mean, but, from Alaska. Uh, that's sort of an unreadable moment there. It is no Miami. Miami. I mean, you gotta you got hit a nice little stream somewhere, maybe try to catch some fresh Alaskan salmon. Imagine. Right here. 3-3. Three, three. Can gotta really watch out it. for those grizzlies. Oh, on camp. Here on high rise. Things have turned around wonderfully here. Yeah, here we go. Toronto's been cheating over towards this B side. And Krem finds blood on Toby. They can just turn it up. Hold the phone. Yeah. Hold that phone. Gives the boys of LA a massive advantage. Insight fighting for his life for Toronto. Trying to pull things back through B2. Oh, Afro. I was going to say, he's been doing the scaffolding hop from both sides, though. And I'm on a plane in Anchorage. Oh, shit. shit. You just got that. Though, but with the man advantage, Afro doing the smart thing. Do I know down. how to use a fishing pole, too? I'm literally king on the same side of the map with his boys. Of course, so the B side of the map wide open, but LA Thieves again just roaming together, running All right, 2v2, fire, they even it up. Hold on, and they get lost. Right for the cleanup, and I think now the Ultra and good read out of Scrap. Wow, what a LA read. Is. How did this go? Know before, they and the info. Now, this is 2v4. Two, two versus four checks. for the AR that duo. You gotta win rounds like that against top teams, man. You have to take advantage of that your 4v2s. I think it was 2v3s, then. I'm pretty sure it was 2v3. I thought it was 2v4. Going for the checks to spot the players pushing through blue. It does not get better than that for a clutch. That's fantastic work out of scrap. Take notes, folks. Either way, still, number of advantage in search. You got to take advantage of that, man. Wilson said, or Watson, sorry, said, Zinni's only problem is those dashing good looks. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. With a magnificent bounce back. I'm enjoying this high rise, by the way. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Been a good time. Yeah, I think cool. it's uh we've had just about everything we could if Envoy clutched that one. Before. Oh wow, Toby hits the jump first <laughs> time and then he falls off it. <laughs> Ultra, one round advantage and the first blood scrap happy. Just to go for the challenge, Afro thinking about a scaffolding route again. In the meantime, though, his teammates cleared up the extra kill towards bomb. Does get traded up by a nice nade. And for a two versus two. That one's even a five Afro also high from Alaska. Know a couple That's good salmon point. streams. Oh no! Oh it's a gunny! 1v2 for insight. Life. And now insight slows things right down. Not necessarily looking the wrong way, but trying to reposition and catch one of these players out. Oh, we saw Ghosty. Oh, oh big win. Great short. It's the gunny of the thieves that prevails here, and they are starting to believe. Watching from New Zealand, it's 11 a.m. on a Sunday here, which means one thing and one thing only. I'm hungover in bed. Oh, yeah. Oh, piss. Hell, yeah. So it looked weird, but I think it's just straight up the incident. But he My did run directly Enjoy. across the center of his screen, did he not? 4-4, four, four, though. Missed it. Got ourselves a map a number two here. One. Yeah, that was, that was ridiculous. <laughs> but for now, possibly a slight error. A millisecond of a mistake has cost Ultra the round. And with that, we're back to 4-4. Four, four. Nades up. Start the round with a bang. 
JCM, I can't help you, bro. From Gosi, just for the coverage, you see Krem being incredibly aggressive insight. I think has him on the intel front. Three v four. He's making moves. You slipped me off. No. Krem, oh, I thought you did this. No. Oh, okay. This <laughs> it's like, why did I? Why did I just get flipped off? Go no. set up for the kill. It's that next one, and he got out. LA Thieves, four versus two, man. Event. Another Afro two versus four. Shoulders. Afro should be. Oh wow! The Does not die. The coverage from his teammates again. The LA Thieves. The trust is there. The teamwork is there. They are toyed <laughs> like a tiger right now. Massive what? advantage. They're not giving it up whatsoever. What? So, Day tomorrow, but <laughs> people are just on my fucking meat right now. Already ultra Someone said, "Why is Seth looking like he's trying to be a Jedi Knight?" Because of my fucking <laughs> long ass neck. No, my with. shirt. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, I don't know why it's doing it, but they won't leave me alone. Like this distant, I mean, this is Someone said, "Why does Seth easy, look like he has a coat hanger in his in his, <laughs> his crew deck?" To be schmoovin, but he's not. He's running they MCW won't leave me alone. One v two for Toby. This is actually doable. Oh, he's got it all. Kleenex. Does Kleenex oh, win it? Of Did you flip me off again? You, know be down low. you are flipping me off. Flipping you off for like five minutes. Just constantly like this. I was saying. Nah, he's getting caught though. He's getting caught by the other piece. Up. Thank God, Ghosty didn't make the move. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing this. It's like five, four thieves. Why is it like? Map it's like so LA not. Thieves. Is it because it's and too big? Is, uh, I mean, look, the start of the round, fantastic there from LA thieves. Get the first blood. Get cramped. I'm up just getting too small for all my clothes, man. It here we go. <laughs> Might see around eleven here. Face Holy shit! From blue in that moment, but. Well played two versus one. Swarm Are we seeing map. around 11 here, boys? We might see around 11. Abraham hard, with a five. My daughter is a huge Thieves fan, and yeah, she recently joined the softball team at her school. I'm grateful they taught her how to throw. Might have a, uh, a bit of an advantage in the S and Ds. One around away. And that might just prove to be true. And they're switching things up this time. Afro is grabbing the bomb. Makes sense to me. Uh, yeah, he's he's a very mobile. Player. All right, guys. Not the last time so really run the bomb quite <clears throat> regularly was back in Vanguard. I could be wrong. Those are good though. I can't even lie. I don't know why. It looks. Does face. it look like that in person? Get me that gun what? Or does it just look weird on stream? It's the man Afro, look it on stream. Trying it looks fucking huge. Yeah, yeah. You look like Wreck-It Ralph. I thought you had like a. I thought you had a tux jacket on. It looks normal in person. It does. When I first came, when I first came in, I thought you had a jacket on. Looks like you have shoulder pads at the stream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one to help him there from on the ground. Envoy. Oh, Timing oh, take him. Oh, he's going to get another. No, he's not. He's for all the kills. Great damage done. He's Why? Got out. Not for long enough, though. Goes to get a hunt him in another man advantage from LA Thieves. Oh, oh that barrel's going to blow. He's dead. He's dead. Whoa. Oh, hard. he gets out. To stay alive. It's going to blow. 2v3. Krem's gonna get the plant inside. Bomb will drop. Thieves could take a map. Here comes the engagement. And that should be the map. Thieves. Okay, thieves. Big search. Sure. It's on the scrap now to win the 1v3. And it's not. Six four result for the thieves. Getting the search and destroy. Hell yeah. Making this a nice fun series to to spectate. Scrap was raging a little bit. Uh, the clutch situation's got a little bit spicy, but on the first blood front, sending love from Cork, Ireland, St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. Can't wait to get absolutely broke map. up I mean, drunk. Down, <laughs> your time, Afro finding just the middle of the map to be we will, uh, wide open and maybe a little bit of luck on your side is good well ones, Riley. Riley's loving Kanye right now, rounds, loving it. That is fantastic execution for the first look. There we have from Thieves on high rise and. I mean, credit the whole way around. Dan Ghost. Elite branded with a fourteen dollar super chat. How long does it take you guys to get used to spawns kills, on a new map first go around? Oh, uh, it takes so a few reps to start getting the hang of it. On the map, Dude, I fucking. Teammate, so if you don't continue two, playing, I feel like you like lose the knowledge. Like, like you, yeah, well. I feel like. Not once I know him, I know him. I feel like. Yeah, but you're not as sharp on him. You're telling me after a week off, you're coming back thinking the same as playing every day? Hell no. If you are, you're lying. Uh, lying. I don't, I don't think I struggle Liar. with that. My only issue after a week <laughs> off is just mechanically, I just feel awful. But like, <clears throat> reading spawns, I, I never struggle with. I mean, reading spawns, yeah, but like, knowing what to do off the spawns, like your best play. You can always read the spawns. I, I really don't think so. Mechanically, I'm terrible after a week off. You need like a good day back to start shooting good again. Zenny's different, I guess. Rizma put up 30.
Can you say what's up? Everyone's different. Say yeah. up, up the Waz. Love from Oz. Sure. Thank you, Rizma. All my Australians out there, let's put another shrimp on the bar, babe. We have another. Uh... I might do it. Slice up your competition with the executive chef operator. Now I would. In game in the Call of Duty store. And I'm pretty sure. All of the. You know, like we used to. I don't know how it works now. But... I don't know what you're saying to me. Yo, do are my are my Australians putting shrimp on the Barbie? Trip on the Barbie. Barba the Barba. Yo, yo, look. Zin, you gotta come to Australia, bro. The the Australian wagyu, shits on Texas, this shit bro. Shit has fucking elbow pads on it. Zoom in on this shit. It's got elbow pads on it. There mm. is no giveaway currently, chat. As there are discussions being had. <laughs> he is definitely sneaking food into the movie theater with that big ass shirt. Y'all ever snuck food into the movie theater? Hell yeah. I used to bring in Skinny Pop when I was losing weight and shit. And like my healthy snack so I didn't feel tempted to go get go rogue. That's nice. I used to fucking take duct tape. Put like, you know, sugar babies? I used to do like three of them and duct tape it around me. But one time the fucker asked me to start jumping. He's trolling. <laughs> <laughs> I, you had me for a second. <laughs> so I started jumping and he heard that and he was, he thought I had maracas. Little did he know, I was thrown out of the theater. What, Riley? Why are you doing a close-up like that? Are you in love with me? If so, let's hear it. No. Yeah. Lies. <laughs> Scum could hide methods in that jumper. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Guys, I've lost weight. That's probably I've lost weight, so this is probably a large. It's probably this is probably a large. I'm more of a medium now. A medium. Huh? <clears throat> you say cap? No. Wow. Oh, it's from Pal. Boo. Boo. <clears throat> Scump out here looking like the bouncer at my it, local Evan? with that thing yes, on. Yes, sir. Thank you. What, the PS2 tier brown, list? Brown, 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 brown. Ooh, I can't wait for this. Can you, like, z zoom out a sec? Wait, this is PS2? Oh, my God. World at War was PS2? Really? Well, let's throw that up no there. No way. My favorite game. Really? Uh, All three of those Spider-Man games? Up. Up, 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 up. Were they fire? Oh, were they fire. Yep, I agree. After that, we're going to go to GTA San Andreas. That's going to go in the S tier as well. After that, we need to locate Sly Cooper. Pred wears shit too tight, and Wait. Skump wears five sizes too big. There was no giveaway, Riley. We weren't doing a giveaway. Riley is. He's just like you guys, man. You fucking see the optics, and boom, everyone, it's it's optic, optic, optic. Very soon, just a week now, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna save the last giveaway for the optic versus phase Halo match over on Twitch. Okay, yes, GTA San Andreas, and well, no, it's GTA Vice City. Every Sly Cooper needs to go in the S tier, please. Vice City, right in the S tier. Uh. Th th this is kind of be biased because I feel like there are so many incredible games like the Dragon Ball Z games Where's are that incredible. Tomb Raider game? Dude, you played, two or one? you played so many fucking games, bro. Yeah, Jack and Daxter. Find Jack and Daxter. I mean, Spyro was like one of the first games I ever played. I put that S tier. Crash Bandicoot. Ratchet and Clank. I forgot about the Dragon Ball Z games. I used to love the Dragon Ball Z games. Damn. Why don't they make them like they used to? I don't understand. Just put them in your mouth and suck them. Map three. 
record overall. They've been fantastic. Oh, defensive and defensive no. end. It does not matter. These guys. Why the fuck are me Why are you class. mewing at me? LAD you weird fuck. Tall task ahead of them, including off the opening break. The nades on. Look at how you look to them. Slowing this push down. To a snail's pace into the zone. Map three. Crawl, and it's ghosty. With man first in there. Whoa, get, he reads Kleenex, and Kleenex absolutely oh. Oh. oh! What was the best Sly game? Yeah, Sly 2. Write that down. That was fucking filthy. Yeah, Afro, Afro, come on down! Yo, Afro has been shooting. I will give him that. Afro has been shooting. Bro. He's been doing it. Maybe two twisted for his own good. But three dead. He's now in a situation where he is the only one on his team getting kills. He's 4 no and getting hunted down. Ah, he's well. going to die so off the streak, however. I'm going to roll through, and now you're getting spawn trapped. A lot of teams, a lot of players in length, like to push out Coop side of the map and actually give the other team good spawns. Toronto Ultra, though, they know how to play Envoy and Junk. They are putting them in the absolute blender trap. Kremp clearly stretched before today's match because he's I feel the opposite. Like no Afro been costing. I feel like these past couple series he has not been. He's been before he was playing very bad. I will agree. Yeah, but he's, he's been turning up recently. Yeah, the past couple series he's been playing a lot better. Yeah, we got a ten from. Hold on, the, the mouse is covering your name. At least from the eye cast, I haven't really looked at the stats, but just watching him, like his, yeah, his gameplay, well. he looks I mean, more confident. His shot play, looks better. Watched that earlier. Looks more I feel like he's their X factor kind of. His ghost has been playing solid. Nasty uses say that plays good. kremp has been turning up. I feel like Afro has been the one struggling at all. Listen, we we can say when players are playing better. Resify with a ten. Thank you. He was getting absolutely dumpster. Never heard of that game. I don't think. Oh, big win. Yeah, Over but they got to get on a point. Off of it. Oh, my word. Wait, Riley, what? Oh, that's a Dragon Ball Z game? Okay, really damn. Ultra close. win oh, round one. Word. Just the outside of the <clears> zone, <throat> but not able to dip a finger at Pinky into the A zone to stop the clock. Ultra. Cork, wait, Ireland Ireland represent. Neil, I don't see it on my end. Two segments gained. Is okay, Cork Neil say? Near perfection, almost every decision that they made on the map completely on point. Oh. LA Thieves might have actually gotten out of like We got a 10 from Neil's in. We got a pretty again, major hotel and restaurant so development project time, coming up in Dallas. Would, uh, would be dope to have you do some taste testing for us? Bro, I am uh, a million percent down. Does Cork, was Cork sure made in Cork, Ireland? Completely on point. I don't know, but Neil, I'm so down. Not a fun start. What's that? He said they have a major restaurant hotel thing coming up in Dallas, and he'd love for me to do some taste testing for them. Yeah, why not? Straight up my alley. Halfway towards the bit of work that the thieves in the first round. Oh no! If there's one thing Zinni does know, it's, it's how to eat. Food and TV. The second segment is gone. Food and TV. I mean, pillars. Pillars. Pillars of life, really. Some of the luxuries of this life. Looking strong. This is going to be two minutes and twenty on the game clock. That is absolutely delightful health from on. I didn't know well. Cork came Protecting from Cork, Ireland. In the time pushes out of cut, says nobody's there. I'll go back to big contribution. So decision making, making fucking... still on point. Insight has found himself in a very precarious making situation. Making wines stay nice and aerated. Almost the unreadable. I don't know the last time LA Thieves have actually spotted this player. But they do out, get the a the captured. Two Insight minutes left for Toronto, and I feel like they're going to win this round. The timing right. Yes, it is indeed. Does if two, if six bullet. dies now to two, okay, Krem finds a big one. Trying to break this one down. Go over the dumpster. You're gonna have a bad time being with insight. You go through mid. Well, you're scrapped. Oh no! Nasty has a crew. Dealt with. Wait. Inside Inside's still back here, but he, he should. Why does it say thieves have three cruises? That's gotta be a glitch. Gonna be a nice Two of them of don't even have burn. six kills. Am I tweaking? I think I'm tweaking. Gone with a minute thirty to play on the clock. Interesting moves, but not quite able to get away. LA Thieves doing a nice job on the hunt to get these trades. Scrap gets traded out in Long Alley. Uh, we gets traded out top red, and now it's just about trying to set up that spawn They trap, do get the guy to jump. Play from Ultra. Kleenex might have found the move to get behind enemy lines. Everybody else up Oh, this is a big red. kill. That's a freebie. Here's this is going to start the assault. Kill and not from LA. You broke this down you once, I wish they make a Sly 5, man. Again. I'd do anything for a new Sly game on PS5. It would make my, make my life, really. 
and six with a minute on the game clock now pause oh that was progress towards it okay that makes sense i mean i mean this is it right here as long as they kill this guy front they can funnel the rest thieves are in trouble that's a big kill off point though all the kills on their way no one trying to deal with the dust. Oh, no. Yeah, I should do it. Oh, wow. Hey, brother. There's an endless world to rediscover. Hey, brother. I mean, they get it back Sly away, game, not again, slide. Dude, I, knew, I knew Cork Perfect came from Cork, Cork Ireland. I literally knew that shit. player gets the right timing to get towards that back alley, it is suffocating how on point these guys can be. Yeah, that was the absolute perfect execution of the B-Zone attack there. And Kleenex playing with patience and incredible And this is going to be a map win for Toronto. If, 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 this, if this momentum is anything, it's, 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 it's going to be a map your positioning on the map. And when we're all ready, we'll capture the B-Zone together. That's exactly what happens in Toronto Ultra. Another decisive round so far in Karachi. Yeah, really good feel for the timing as well, right? Kleenex is looking at the dumpster. Nobody's there. Okay, long alley. Nobody's there. And eventually he just <laughs> like isolates the final player coming through like tickets. So uh, their internal clock right now also on point. A B zone attack though. Insight. Oh, I thought he was one. winning that. Though, nice trades. Now you get yeah, some good trade. They're actually, this up. is different. We're seeing kind of a B break here from the thieves. Don't see them very often. Forced to make the play, but Kleenex already Any map. Didn't going, really work out. For the flanks. That's the they would like to do. There. Another opening break. Absolutely stuffed. Ultra. As is tradition, completely on point. <clears throat> yeah, this is more sort of Guys, I'm trolling about the course, by the way. I'm just being a mature. Defensive work. The only saw the LA thieves get two segments on A. A, the zone that typically falls the first. This time round, Insight playing incredibly patiently. One more moment, allowing Envoy to get into the fray. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, my God. What Afro the fuck? He took that shot. That was oh, a zap. Wow. In trouble. Dylan Hannon, wow. 15 and 8. Oh, oh mind blown. Right. And look how quick he is, by the way, to like run back over towards Junk. Same thing with Kleenex Ooh. number four, just to make sure you're blocking those close spawns, even when you get that three man wipe. So, another pinch. Do they read the double pinch? I don't think so. Pace. 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 Objective first, oh and now he's team shotting with his boys. Make sure you kill the guy top third. Try to get out of dodge, and again, right back to making sure that you are blocking that spawn. 20 seconds left. Nice Might be Thieves' last push Ultra. on the map. This has been Down dominant. The they are doing everything right. Yeah, Kremp has four. I didn't even see that. He's in the blend. Of the Ultra lineup at any moment. They're an amorphous blob. They are completely covering all angles at all times. And this might be enough, though. The LA Thieves, they've caught them in a brief moment of weakness. Is this enough to get in? No. You okay. Ooh, oh, wait, that's a cruise for Daniel. 17 and 10 and streaks. We're going to be. Yeah, oh, okay, Dan. Hey. Damn, Daniel. He has 18 kills. Two of his teammates don't have that combined. And it did pick 82. They can't get to 18. And Ghosty, criminal performance for the moment. He is letting it Daniel ride. Daniel Ghosty. Yo, he's, he's talking right now. Valley. He is a little bit of help from Afro as well. But two gunfights to still have the win on the front Ooh, line. Ooh, it would have been finally get shut down. Okay, bro. Afro there for the trades. But here's number two. And Insight, an easy one for him. Only Play 40 seconds left, though. Despite what Dan just did, they got no the time. Way. Thieves, though, is still plenty of presence on the map. Probably so better speed run. Still with the streak, so maybe soften up one of the two of these more powerful positions. Damn. Scrap those. Uh, Here's that cruise, right? From top of I mean, I think you got to invest it. Oh. Nice bit of work with that front. The back line. Oh, not enough. Oh, HP. and Toby Clean just shut it down. Wow. The front dealt with. That might be it. The streak. The cruise too. Oh dear, is it enough? Fly forward, LA thieves, fly. These are the final moments of the map. And you got players in rack corners as well, playing the guarantees and Kleenex. So annoying to deal with, chopping you down along the way, the extra bit of damage. All right, done quick 3 0 for Ultra here on Karachi Control. There it is. The that was a dominant map. Slaying was not close. There was a blistering moment there from Ghosty, but outside yeah. of that. Yeah, great map. Great map out of the Ultra. I'm going to go use the restroom real quick. All right, man. Oh, hell yeah. We're going to do a map five on main stage in Halo 2. So this this is actually potentially perfect to catch the Optic first phase full series over there on the winner's semis for Halo. Okay. Two are with a 20, thank you. I think that's a made-up story. I've never once been down 12k at a casino. It was just the efficiency of like that is a clear cut example. But Seth appreciates your 20, I'm sure. Being on the exact same page at any given time. 
to the point where every reaction was on point. I think in that final yeah, no, I mean, Cramp and Nasty have, have some tough ones there. From like middle mat towards they like had some tough Sean, ones there. And then going through that like mid alley flank, he did that like three separate times on the exact Well, does Thieves <sighs> have what it takes? Right spawn, nah, I don't right think top. so. I knew it would. I knew it would be a three-one. Learn from on any given map, but especially Karachi control. That was destruction. Yeah, really. Back to that Kleenex play that really helped the boys when that attacking round massive work. That was that second. The third round again. Once the stranglehold was in place, it's immaculate control from Toronto. Free ghosty. Know exactly where <laughs> they need to be for one another, and it's not like you've got set positions for set players. It's a very fluid gameplay. Very, very much like water, my friends. Fit it into a pot and make it crash against the waves and ultra absolute. We lock back in for this. I feel like, is it me or I feel like in, in a list like this, you have to have so many S tier because of how good the games were like Crash Bandicoot, Dragon Ball Z, Smackdown vs. Raw, Rock Band, Guitar Hero, Smackdown vs. Raw top. Yeah, is there Smackdown vs. Raw on here? Oh, I thought there was, it was on here. I don't see. I don't see any like the similar story. They played it once against LAG and looked fantastic, but otherwise I don't see it. Dude, I forgot that one game I used to play. It was like you can control like three or four soldiers. Well, the submachine guy was the black guy, ball guy. Um, yeah, was it PS2? I don't know. What game? Someone in chat's gonna know. Um, scroll down, Riley. <laughs> Desert Storm. Wow, was that game fucking amazing? Holy shit. Let's get, uh, dude, the SpongeBob games are great too. Let's get, uh, Crash Bandicoot up there in the S tier. I feel like we should have put one Crash Bandicoot. Like per game, we should put one in the S tier. So just put one of the just put one of the Crash Bandicoots in the S tier. They were all up there. And Kingdom Hearts has to go in the S tier as well. And that one sole win that LA Thieves had, they got it just the other day, literally yesterday, against LAG. And of course, the Gorillas, at least early in the year, certainly were a team that enjoyed themselves some sub base, but LA Thieves really took them to task. 250 to 105 for the victory. Um, so, what's that? As far as the map set goes, Kingdom Hearts. Was optimistic for LA Thieves on the search and destroy front. Blackhawk game down was lit. I never, I watched the movie. Two. I never played the game. Mm. I gotta look that up. Dude, these games, man. Oh my god. You used to go in a blockbuster. Some of these I've never played. I actually never played the Spyro series. I was never. I never got into Spyro. I played that on Sonic. I used to love the Sonic games. Oh no, maybe Sonic. I played that on PC when I was a kid. It was like a. I forgot what. Oh, we got Map Four Sub Base. And if it's not, uh, the oh, best PC games, is Club Penguin. Fantastic matchup, but I'm sure it will be. Also, some of the Club Penguin unmatched experiences on there. there. Trying to insight. talk in a rock uh, hopper, tipping a the iceberg. Yeah, he pulled that off on Skid Row. So, if you're a main AR and you want to learn the right spots to play, Insight always a player to pay attention to. Opening break though, kicking off. Krem, get a nice two kills. Yep, Ghosty. just started. At least staying alive and buying his teammates some time, trying to get him in position. Krem. For his third, he's able to get it. It might just be Krem versus the whole squad, but there you yeah. go. That standoff from Ghost Team. Fake lace. Ghost Fake lace. On top, and this is beautiful right now from the LA Thieves. Yeah, nice work. And again, Krem nowhere near full power. Hey, right what's now. up, guys? Look Welcome back. What's up? From his oh, we got uh, sub base. I forgot sub base was map four. That's Fuck like yeah. Thieves trying to force map number five here. In game. Let's see how it goes, though. Insight on the break. Ghost Team Afro have got his trades. Thieves retain control. Looking for the power ups on What's the Toronto's LA record on this? Do they play this map? They are 4-0 on it. Oh, shit. I didn't know Toronto was like that on this shit. Okay. P2 coming in. Good good setup. And a two-piece from Scrappy. You think we're going five here? Very possible. I don't know. I doubt I, it. I can see it happening. I mean, thieves are not playing bad. I mean, they had a tough control, but. 35 to go. 
this might be a perfect 60. And Scrap's Bro. getting, Gardella he's getting again. fucking, on a four spree now. he's getting it's going top, uh, what do you call this, top offices? I call this top offices. I call it top offices. And this is a cruise, maybe, maybe not. Yep, bank it, yep. doing a good job playing his life. He's dead, peace. Oh my gosh, where'd that nade go? They They're not even jumping them. They're slow playing like them. Why? Sons, I think just right, everyone's looking for them. <laughs> okay, they they kill them off the cruise. So the good plays from the Thieves, especially Dan Gosey to win that fight. Well, Envoy playing like an absolute rat back down. here, and they find they them. Wow, them. Great, yeah, great read out of the out of Afro right there. To make sure you stabilize this game. Cannon Lynch. Where do I know? I gotta look that game up after this. Sounds familiar. I don't put Spyro S tier. I don't even remember. I don't even rem remember that game. I was so young. I didn't play Spyro. Cannon Lynch sounds so familiar. Taking care of business on the inside of the tunnel. That's all the members of Ultra away for now. Mm. Ghosty pushing the front line forward. Afro driving the spear in. Create some space, create some time. Keep running up that score. There's the lead change. And you see again, Cramp, just a good It's a great hold out of the thieves right there. But again, I feel like this it. map now again, is so fucking cool rotation heavy. It's like they're, they're kind of hard to break to with it. the new spawns. So a very strong hill there for thieves. Of course, though, it is going to be a hike and this next hill as well, unless you get like some progression, you really get one if you good die on your first wave, go four dead, it's like, it's almost impossible. Rather, okay, it's like, right it, it comes to the point where you don't even want to fight it, because then you might flip yourself. Get very far. Kremp, maybe the next player in line. But Kremp, you see, he's going to go around the back. Let's see how this first hit looks. Break the dry dock hill. Good luck, have fun. One, something is all it takes. And they're watching it. Three to might activate. Point. Yeah, there he goes. Gets the call out. Peace. First push gets shut down. Nasty actually finds a big two piece. That's a Kobe. Series. Holy shit. Nasty, nice it's an absolute Yober. Yoberson. What do they know about that money, Mark? Not a lot of people do. Not a lot of people? Not a lot of people do. Yo, chat. you guys remember a game called Ape Escape? I, I do remember. I used, to, I, used to, I, used to, I used to love that game. Really fucking annoying, At least Nasty gets the one guy at a time though so that is a gunfight that strips away maybe an extra seven or eight seconds that game was goaded if this map goes down to the wire little moments like that, that was can absolutely good. pay off kleenex doesn't care about fall damage but he's one kill away from a cruise missile he wants to play guarantee all right toronto with a great oh, 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 oh. p4 hold now on the p5 on well, the tank the range, and they're gonna die off hill that is not good oh that's really not good they're gonna try to get top point. snow control and put them in the trap yeah no this is how thieves will let it slip right here yeah <laughs> these guys left need to make some kills try to get around yep see scrap instantly gets top snow now look what they're forced to do they gotta either go around or they gotta just take straight up fights yeah. that are when you're not in this favorable. when you're in this hold oh, the hyper diaper He's waiting for a free it's like right now, it's, it, just it's up there one of the worst so i mean they could be fucking anywhere there's a lot of hills on this on this just game in general where it's like once you get put in it it's like it's almost impossible to get out I mean, we're at the point where the at least straight up, like you have, it forces you to take rounds. Will he get the cruise? He will not. Big wins. No streaks, no problem though. The ultra still have the lead. Honestly, dropping for that. How do you not get the cruise missile in that moment? It is unreal. Uh, He's gonna no, find LAD the next. Maybe back to the bread and butter. P1 is a hill they've had a great deal of success. Scrap though doesn't care about that. Just jumps right at the point, gets the trophy down, and. Now, 15 and 7. Where I think only Ghosty behind enemy lines, maybe to make things awkward, but Kleenex, well, now he shows up. I mean, the slaying is just gets the read and not there for thieves. Moment right now from LA, they got full yeah, Spyro is a fucking too. great game, bro. Great have, game. Control this Childhood game. game. Love that shit. From Kleenex. Yeah, he's feeling a little confident now that he's not sort of. Did you ever play Spyro? Reign of Sugma? Good one, man. <laughs> How? Are you, are you serious? That's what you try to get me with? I even tried to set it up before. Reign of Sugma? I even tried. It was awful. I tried to set it up before. Yeah, I love Spyro. Great childhood game. That was awful. <laughs> Oh, that was not my best work, man. Not at all, dude. You gotta like, you gotta really think about it. Everything under control, and if you are in this situation where you have number three inside blocking the spawns, and you have roamers, couldn't be more readable. I mean, this is hopeless. I mean, this game's over, guys. This game's over. 
Chris you guys know what's coming play. up, and I'm gonna be fucking from Toronto, brick hard. Yeah, this they game's over. Five. Over there on Near Twitch. Now. Oh no! Every time you sort of call them out, they're gone. Ultra. Yeah, that was not my best. Look at the damage dealt. You're never dealing with one member at a time. You are always being tagged. Oh, Afro! What in the? Sugar okay, was that? bro. Was that what a tag that was. Yeah, Are we going to skip the interview as well and get on over there? You were pointing out correctly, by the way. It's up to chat. Every single kill being team shot. I, I vote to skip the interview like and go watch Halo on Twitch immediately after this map ends. It's up to chat. One individual fight like top glass. All in favor, say aye. Jumping into death. Nothing you can do. Insight for three up top. And now they finally flip the spawns at the worst possible time. Go. Ultra again. again. Wait, what the fuck? Why are we getting comms? Afro has five. Not a good map. Yeah, right? Right? He's got five. He's got five. Zen hates when they do that. He goes, I feel bad for the players when they're about to lose and they get put into a listening. They could be saying crazy shit. Zen goes, <laughs> a listening? Oh, it wasn't a listening? Yeah, no, it's like they're getting like, no, that's they're getting like feedback. No, no, that's Riley's soundboard. That's, that is not Riley's soundboard. Yes, it is. He's doing the seven thing because Kremp had seven. Towards the end, go. LA Thieves though do fight out seven? of this. They do get that uh, vote yeah. in a big moment. I thought they were like, I thought they were about to come. The, the people have voted and they vote to go to a Halo immediately after the map. Towards the depths of time, where inside is already. I fucking love that. Optic first phase Halo. They mm -hmm. like to get crazy. Good luck, lads. Here we go. The thieves now trying to find their way forward. Crimp and Afro struggling somewhat. Continuing to struggle. Ghosty will find the trade. We're under the point. Here oh, they're going to get a break, though, here on this P3. Instant wait. Dylan. The dagger. In and out. In and out. Quickly. Kleenex picks up after the confusion clears. And it's this is, this should be a, yeah. This is the, this is the setup. I think this series is over. Afro just got five. I mean, that's insane. Like, I'm not saying, like, I'm just saying, that's a stink. It's a stink. You don't like that? That's what he's hey, hey, Your mark is You threw it out there randomly. And Afro has five. Afro's got it. I think Jamie was just letting him know that he had five. Did he? I'm pretty sure. <sighs> I'm loving it. That was one way to uh have to let those boys know how the series went. Damn. Ultra 3-1. I mean, Thieves, Thieves made it Ultra respectable at times. I mean, a big map 2 win. Map 3 was convincing. Map 4 convincing as well. Yeah, I mean, only the search was. Yeah. Oh, bro. Hold on, let me finish my bloody point. My mark is duo. That control was an absolute slam. That was a real ugly one. What tier would you put? Wow, World of Warcraft? Oh, it's one of my favorite games ever. And yeah, they left. They left early. Even with two nasties, quite get it done now. They left early. What are you gonna do? I mean, it's frowned upon to leave early so people can see the stats. But I mean, sometimes, sometimes you gotta get out of there. Sometimes you gotta get the fuck out. Just leave. Just get out. Get out. Hope some people didn't see it. Move on with your life. Don't look at Twitter. Yeah, don't, don't. Don't look at Twitter and definitely don't look at Reddit. Just take the night off. No, you never look at Reddit. Get yourself, if you don't play tomorrow, get yourself a glass of wine. Don't even fucking, just try to forget it. You never look at Reddit. Try to forget it. <sighs> yeah, the Here we go. Wait, Riley, what you got? The Here comes a shit one from Riley. Let's see, oh, Riley. Oops. That one's not bad. Okay. What kind of car is, is that? Is that real? Yeah. Is that a Bentley? Yeah. Someone's rocking the Bentley with optic. Damn, that's some succession level shit. That's an absolute flex. Oh yeah, it is. On, it, it is in the UK. Look at that. Drivers on the opposite side. Yep. That dub. That big B. I would feel on Mars if I got into the driver's seat and I was on the right side. I wouldn't know what's going on. Oh Imagine yeah. That. Are we swapping over? Uh, I mean, Seth, you make the executive. I mean, we might as well watch the interview. They're not even like it's going to be like at least twenty minutes. We might executive as well. call made by Scump. Interview will go on. I mean, yeah, they're about to they're about to fucking set up for like at least fifteen minutes. Like, there's no we don't really have a rush. Oh man, it makes me so hard that we get to go over to Twitch, man. It feels like last year. Huh? We're gonna do the giveaway over on Twitch like old times. Yeah. <laughs> Are we streaming ranked in Miami before? 
Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> I thought we were on that kind of ground. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> what, are they going to have land. games cases for us? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, you want to land in Miami and play rank? You want to look at the pool, then go inside and play rank? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it is crazy. You want to drive past Kith, Miami, and then go play rank? Uh, but yeah, I put World of Warcraft S tier. World of Warcraft is, it's it's probably my favorite non Call of Duty game of my entire life. Dude, there. I don't know if they're. Dude, chat. You can shut this down if you want. But dude, growing up, I don't know if there was a better. Like, one of my earliest memories of just loving video games was going into the Northern Barrens and hearing that music play, and I'm a fucking orc, and I got an axe, and I'm fucking 13, and I'm loving it. What are you talking about? World of Warcraft? Oh, I was never, never played World of Warcraft. I never played it either. Actually, I was a troll warrior. You were a different type of game. And Maple Story people used to play? Dude, TP tried to put me on to Maple Story. I couldn't get into it. My friends used to always. I feel like world. I feel like you were either like a World of Warcraft RuneScape type gamer, or you were like me, Club Penguin, the Balloons Tower Defense, Dragon Ball Z. You can't make fun of me for playing World of Warcraft when you're saying you used to play Club Penguin. I'm not making money. Would you waddle around and fucking hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, no, fuck you. Fucking rock hopper, tip in the iceberg. All I'm saying is you were either one or the other. You played World of Warcraft and RuneScape type games, yeah, or you played like the blockbuster games. I did play Webkin's, damn it. I'm proud of it. That was Webkin. You used to buy the little stuffed animal, put the code in, run around in game with your little, with your little stuff. <laughs> with your animal. Hell yeah, I played Webkin's for a bit. Not gonna put me down. Damn. Kleenex 1.33, 1.25, 1.31. Damn. In seventh grade, I was a part of the chess club. That's about the only other thing I did besides COD. Those maps. Talk to me about your guys' team right now the chess as a club. team. Where do you think you have an edge over the rest of the competition come Miami? Yeah, I just think it's our respawn right now. We've definitely been putting a lot of work into our respawn, especially Hardpoint on the new patch. You know, when it first came out, we were definitely struggling a little bit, so we hammered it down in practice and stuff, and I feel like it's actually showing in matches now. Absolutely, and piggybacking off of that, that is your biggest strength right now. Obviously, the biggest weakness kind of being that search and destroy. So what do you guys plan to do as we head into the major next week to try and tighten that up before land? Yeah, I feel like the biggest thing in our S&D right now is that we're not getting big kills in like clutch situations. Um, we definitely have been trying a few things in S&D, trying to switch up the vibe because everyone has a lot of bot from us in Major 1. Uh, but I feel like the biggest thing for us right now is just knuckling down on that, uh, getting out all the creases and uh, come land, like hopefully we can clutch up. Uh, Jamie, you know, throughout stage one, there was a clear difference. You guys were on another level, another tier than the rest of the teams. A lot of people say there's a lot of parity in the top four, that anybody could come yeah. in, in the top four and win this next major. Fuck yeah. What do you have to say about that? Do you agree with that at this point in time? Uh, I do feel like the top four is definitely like leaps right. and bounds. It's probably that restream, of of whatever. Uh, I'm not sure why that is, but if you just look at like the points difference, I feel like it explains the story itself. Uh, but I do feel like any team on the day in the top four coming into the event can definitely win it. I feel like it will come down to the S&Ds personally, mm -hmm. how respawn is right now. Um, but yeah, I do feel like there's a big gap right now in the top four. You know, coming off of a loss, I saw you show up today with a new look, had the hood on, you're absolutely dialed. Is that something like you're about to be doing in matches on land? Chat saying, Chat saying those glasses man. are yeah. tight on his head. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Today I was like, you know what, I'm going hoods up. And uh, I don't know, it worked map one and map four. Map four squeezing yeah, so, all those brain juices. I don't know, maybe I'll keep the look. Love it. Insight, Chat noticed that you have been increasing the trash talk. Is this something you're learning sitting next to Scrap, or has this always been part of your game? Uh, it comes out against certain teams, I'd say. You know, th this one today was for Cami. You know, they did my boy dirty, so I had to get a revenge. Looks like his head's gonna explode. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm not they're really a toxic guy, to be honest, but they are you know, today it came out. Love to see it, man. Probably Never stop. Congrats, Toronto, in the top four officially. We'll see where you're seated at the end of the week. Cheers, guys. Oh, it's about That's that time. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much for joining us here on the CDL Watch Party. Uh, we just saw Toronto get a big win over the Thieves. Uh, we saw Miami take out Minnesota, which is going to put Miami into that winner's bracket. Uh, an interesting day of matches, and obviously earlier we saw Vegas absolutely mop the floor with Carolina. Not really much to talk about there. It was fast. Guys, come join us over on Twitch. We're about to go live for the Halo 
Optic Halo Watch Party. They're about right to play now. Yeah, they're about to play Phase in the winners semifinal. Uh, so you don't want to miss it. Come on over to Twitch. Come hang out with the gentlemen. Uh, thank you guys. If you're not coming over, thank you guys very much for all the love over here on YouTube. We'll be live again tomorrow. We got Optic versus New York tomorrow in the last match of the split. That's an absolute banger. It is the battle for first seed. Um, but that's really all I got. Thank you guys I'm for the love. We'll see you guys, guys here on YouTube. Same time tomorrow. I'll be on Twitch tomorrow for some ranked as well. Early morning. You know the vibes. Thank you, guys. See you over on Twitch if you're joining us. Yep. If not, peace. Join us right now. I'm a, uh, We're live on Twitch? I'll probably